Immortals! I'm Jensen and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. This is going to be the last episode that we record for a long while until maybe the game comes out. So we're going to try and get as fast as we can possibly get in a single sitting because tomorrow I've got a great game lined up. I was just giving a teaser. Just giving a little bit of a teaser for uh, what the game is going to be. And since this VOD is probably going to release on YouTube after we uh, maybe... Oh, hello there. After we actually play the game, I have no issues giving hints. I've already uh, mentioned that the game includes cannibalism. And also, you get to be an undertaker of a graveyard, and it's kind of like a Stardew Valley presentation as well. So it's like, pixel, it's cutesy, and you also get to eat people. No hints from me. <laughs> All right, so what we're we looking at, we have a little bit of a mess back here, don't we? Seems like these boxes of dead bees are really taking up most of the place now. The chocolate book cereal, we could probably actually do with getting more shelves of cereal. Got a lot of meats here, which is awesome. We have 141 in our pocket. We got one of these bottles of yellow oil. Let's go ahead and try and restock that one there so we can restock the entire thing. Good. Now we'll get six of those uh, completely restocked right here. Two, three, four, five, six. Done. Let's go ahead and buy this. Excellent. Okay, now that that's out of the way, what else do we want? We've got so much basmati. We've got a lot of powdered sugar. Great. We have some salt. We've got a nominal amount of salt. We have so quite a few eggs. We need way more of these lapipitas, I think. We've got milk for days. French fries. We need uh, two boxes of French fries. So we'll go ahead and do that. Nobody's restocking it, are they? What's restocking the French fries? No. Okay, good. I was going to say, because if we overstock on the french fries, we're going to be in a bad spot. Actually, we'll keep on taking a look around, because, no, we'll actually get the french fries right this second, I think. Whew. Man, Chad has been... Chad has been me for a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Chad is really not too much of an important part in the videos, believe it or not. it's uh, The chat is literally all there for me, so that I can kind of, like, hang out with people uh, while I'm playing some of my favorite games. Great. Let's go ahead and order that. We need more of the little white boxes of, of spaghetti. Let's get some of that. I'm pretty sure it's about down here or so. There it is. Two, three, four. There's only eight in a box. How big are these boxes? How big are these boxes? Uh, they're kind of actually a little bit fiddly. So we get two in a single rack. Yeah, that's going to be annoying. Uh, we've got mayonnaise for days. Mayo days. Got lots of tomato sauce, got lots of barbecue sauce. That's not selling very well. What the hell is that? Ah, the ice creams are selling a little bit too fast. Uh, we've got four little stockpiles for the french fries. Let's go ahead and just stick these down here instead of there. And then I think we could probably actually get another two boxes of it, right? I think, maybe, possibly. Uh, we need more of the green oil, or do we? Oh, we actually have heaps of the yellow oil as well. Uh, the salmon is fine. We're out of peanut butter completely. We're out of tea completely. Okay, we'll get 12 peanut butters and 12 teas. Three, four, five, six. Done. And this is going to be expensive, actually. One and two. And that is all of the peanut butter completely restocked. Now we need lots and lots of tea. Three, four, five, six right here. Good. We, we can still only buy things 10 at a time, which is actually a little bit frustrating, but... You know, such as life sometimes. Good, that's fine. We've got two self-checkouts, which is actually paying for itself now, believe it or not. Wonderful. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Yes, actually, it is. I have found a way of making mayonnaise an instrument if you kind of, like, blow really hard on the top of it. You can get this kind of, like, weird bubbly sound. Mayonnaise is, in fact, an instrument. Everything is an instrument. The world is full of instruments. Especially instruments you can eat. I really need to start overstocking on sushi. To be quite honest. Probably get a dedicated shelf for sushi. Probably makes the most sense, right? What else we got? Uh, these are all stocked and fine. Great. Love to see it. Love to see it. We have enough to buy this other stack of tea. How are the boxes outside looking? Not great. Okay. There is one dickhead here standing here. Two dickheads here. This guy is standing here with a single box of eggs in his hand. What an asshole. What's this guy doing? Doing the same thing with crab sticks. What a jackass. Could you not? 
All right, people are buying lots and lots of these ice creams, which is awesome. Good. Eggman has finally unburdened himself of the eggs. Nice. Squidward was wrong. Yeah, Squidward doesn't know anything. He's an oaf. He's just a, he's just a, a fish brain. He's fish brain. Okay, what else we got? We probably want to get a lot of that sushi, right? We probably want to get maybe... We probably want to get lots and lots of sushi. How much is this going to cost? Four of these. Four of these small ones too. That is going to cost us 1,400 buckery booze. Jesus. Jesus, that's expensive. Okay. Uh, we are still open here at Piss Off. This guy is uh, doing microaggressions against a woman half his size. What an asshole. Uh, we'll come down here and turn this light on so everyone can see that we do actually have stock in stock. Oh, nice. We're selling Krusty's Pizza. Why is this guy holding this? Okay, good. That is full. Perfect. I love that. What are these guys holding? Uh, moussakas and two crab sticks. All right, let's try and get some of these moussakas right here off of the shelf. Throw that over there. Actually, probably want that one off of the shelf instead because it's half empty. And this one, oh, okay, <laughs> looks like we're putting the full ones down. Right, gotcha. Gotcha. Good work, guys. Good work, everybody. Yeah, we're going to have to wait until everything's empty before we actually start buying things. Uh, this guy's buying a bunch of beef. Love that. Don't know if we've actually got enough beef, though. Uh, we need another light. Can we get one before nine? Got two. We'll get another two lights, actually. Never mind. We're not going to get it before nine, but we can at least stick them in our cart right here. Done. Okay. Frozen yogurt's too expensive? Is it actually? We'll see. I'll see about that. Yeah, it's kind of expensive. Let's go to 210. Done. Excellent. Uh, we still have lots of basmati rice here. We could probably actually do with refilling an entire stack of tea. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that. See, this one is tea right here. Let's go ahead and fill this shelf right here. Great. And I'm going to throw this on the ground for the monkeys to deal with because it's not a me problem anymore. I'll go after the coffee next. Uh, I'll go up to this one. There's eight in here. Great. We'd love to see it. Done. Throw that into the doorway as well. Maybe clock a, uh, a pedestrian in the face on the way. That'd be funny. Uh, I'm going to start restocking the La Pipite. There's only a few at the bottom of this box. Let's go ahead and just empty that one out. Throw that over there. Probably going to have to restock all of the La Pipites, I think. All right, good. And we'll keep stocking in here. That should be fine and dandy. They can restock that one for all I care. I'm going to start leapfrogging all of these over into there now so that our monkeys can go ahead and just restock all of this for us. And we can skip all of the kind of like the movement part of restocking all of the storage. There is a dickhead here standing with, oh my god, the same empty box. The same half empty box of TV dinners. What a jerk. Throw one at someone? It doesn't actually do anything. It just kind of clips through them, unfortunately. Hey, man. What are you doing? What are you buying? Hello? A lot of money, huh? Here you go. Boom. Just goes through him, unfortunately. Oh, well. What do you do? What do you do? Okay, we'll get all of this down here. We do kind of have, like, the the little transit area that allows us to access the store from the, the storage, which is pretty nice, actually. It's a quality of life a lot of people just kind of discount immediately in this game. All of the huge supermarket simulator streamers, they, they just don't understand the... The meta that is the doorway in between the supermarket and the storage room. I do kind of like how they're drip feeding us infrastructure. That is actually very, very cool. It's very nice. It, honestly, I would not want to wait for this game for a couple of years to be finished. I am glad that they're actually just drip feeding everything. Okay, I'm not dealing with that. Is anyone else buying anything in here? Not really. Okay, we probably need to get rid of that guy's stock right here, right? Okay, there we go. I'm just going to drop that there. So this other guy should be coming in here. Good. Hopefully he's not going to kick all the boxes around. No, he just goes through them. Excellent. Nice. How about these Lepi Pites? Can we replace them yet? No. Oh, well. We'll put these in the freezer. Or we could miss. There should be a physics option. There should be, shouldn't there? We were kind of like testing out the physics option when we first started our first day of this by kind of like getting a few shelves and piling all of our empty boxes up behind all of our infrastructure. 
Like we had a, a couple of shelves, we had a fridge and we had a, a self checkout and we just put them in a ring around here and we just threw every empty box behind it. It almost crashed the game. It almost crashed the game, but it didn't quite crash the game. Unfortunately, we came very, very close. I'll actually just end the day, right? Ah, itchy nose. Okay, it's hard to get through that doorway. Maybe we could actually just start restocking these for, for our, our monkeys. Okay, one goes there. This is also yellow oil. Put that there. This is yellow oil. I'll put that there. And do we have any more yellow oil? Yes, we do. Put that oil there. Great. What is this? That is tea. Tea goes over here, I think. Yep. We're going to overstock on tea, I think. We'll get heaps and heaps of tea. It's an excellent consumable, honestly. Yeah, there's so much of it in a box that it's really, really hard not to sell it. Uh, where's the peanut butter? Right there. Okay, we've got one peanut butter left. I wonder... No, we're not missing any peanut butter. Gotcha. All right, are we still restocking, guys? I think we need more of those ice cream cones. We're probably actually out of ice cream cones at this point. We're running down on crispy chibi and chocolate pick. What about dead bees? I don't think anyone's buying the dead bees. Oh, maybe because it's massively expensive. Okay, we'll set dead bees to five bucks a box. Daylight robbery, honestly. We'll start stocking the salt right here. Or not. All right. <laughs> My bad. We're not going to stock salt whatsoever. Let's keep on getting this peanut butter into the racks. Where was it? Where is the peanut butter? Peanut butter? Peanut butter? There it is. Good. Put that there. Oh, good. look, they're actually stocking now. Oh my god, can you believe this? I love this. They're actually filling up the shelves. Right, we're almost out of powdered sugar as well. Maybe aside from this right here, we should probably actually just get maybe a billion little things. More salt. We've got quite a bit of salt, honestly. We don't really need to restock it, to be quite honest. Okay, I'm actually going to finish the day because they're not going to be doing anything if they're restocking those. It's in the day. What do we got? What's our intake? It is 1,500. No, it's 1,100. My bad. I misread. My dyslexia is playing up. So we need 1,500 anyway to buy the next cart of items, which is fine. We can do that. I'll go take a look at the prices while these guys restock the shelves. Uh, oil should... That's fine, actually. What else is too expensive? This flour is fine. What about the spaghetti? That's actually way cheaper than it should be. Let's make that seven bucks. Whoa, the profit is only two bucks. Let's make this eight bucks. Done. Spaghetti is now expense. Uh, the basmati here. We are not making a hell of a lot on this. Let's make that like seven bucks, I suppose. That should be fine. What about this coffee? Are we making anything on this? No, they set that to an even 10 buckery booze. What about tea? $5.40? That's probably actually a good price for it. Yellow oil. Market price is $5 right now. We're selling them for three. Let's go ahead and change that. And right here as well. Yeah, these, these are being sold for about what they're worth. 4.5. Let's hike it up a little bit. Done. Mom, can we go to piss off? <laughs> I love their prices over at piss off. Yeah, I love this right. P good old piss off. <laughs> All right, what's this? this guy better not be holding TV dinners. No, he's holding boxes of dead bees. That's fine. I don't mind that, actually. Okay, so we should almost be able to buy what we want to buy. What are you restocking, buddy? Ah, the bougie flour. Good. People are actually buying that crap. Idiots. Peanut butter is good price. Powdered sugar is good price. The crispy chippy cereal is good price. And Choco Pick is good price. Actually, very good price. Uh, we'll take a look at the sauces as well. This one here, good price. This one here, good price. This one here, great price. Mayonnaise is very expensive, as it turns out. Jesus, that is expensive. Oh, the rich are full of stories. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. What the hell am I looking at here? Sweet Jesus. Help. Help. I'm being repressed. <laughs> all right, now that we got all that out of the way, well, I'll take a look at the meats as well, because we should have a lot of meat in stock. We're also almost out of the uh, Choco Pick cereal. We've only got a single box of the crispy chibis. Where's, where are the dead bees being kept? What are dead bees? There they are. Yeah, we're pretty much full up on dead bees. Actually, you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to move the dead bees over here, just so that all of the dead bees are closer to... 
What the hell? Not there. Are closer to where we want them to be, if you'll pardon the pun. Put that box right there. Good. And still one more. Take this one, please. Put it there. And we'll remove this label. And I'm also going to take this box. I'm going to throw it on the ground. Hopefully the dead bees don't get all squished and stuff. And we'll move those racks over to the other cereals. His frozen items are really selling fast, honestly. Okay, this guy couldn't find a Lego sushi, which we can now actually start stocking. Let's do that right this second. Boop. Done, we bought it. We also got two lights, which we are definitely going to be using. Excellent. What a crap stack that was. Uh, I'm going to throw this on the ground real temporarily. Or not. There we go. Uh, probably want to move this right into the corners. Like there. And this one. And go roughly there. Excellent. Now we need another two of these bad boys. One's right here. Great. And we'll put this one right there. Good. And one more. Goes right down in this corner. Mm, why is it cocked? That, well, that angle. Strange. Done. What is your competition? Uh, there is no competition, essentially. But the prices fluctuate pretty frequently. And unfortunately, the AI is dumb as a brick. Like, we only can use these here single shelves simply because the AI, when the, we get the double shelves, they just move back and forth between them endlessly, not being able to complete whatever they're buying. They pick up items. They take those items. And then when we end the day, we lose all of those items and those people don't buy them in the first place. So that was a little bit of an artificial difficulty curve right there. All right, let's start throwing all the... Actually, we want to create our own shelves for this too, don't we? Where is the sushi? Okay, that is... That goes there. So what if we stuck sushi here and here? And then we got rid of that label. Then we took this big sushi and stuck it here and here. And then we got rid of this box, which means we can get rid of that label. Nice! Great! Okay, so we've moved the sushi down to be a little bit identifiable. It's pretty awesome. Got the yogurt in that corner there. I don't think the yogurt's really selling. Because, oh, actually, it is selling very, very well. we got to get real far back to see how much we're selling in the bottom shelf, though, unfortunately. It's a little bit annoying, but, you know, such is life. All right, good. We're restocking all the sushi. Is it a good price? We are probably making quite a good profit on that. Yeah, apparently butter's too expensive. Sucks to suck. We're only making 10 bucks on these big sushis, which is still actually quite a bit. Turn the lights on right here. Good, excellent. And we'll turn the lights on in here, which should be well illuminated. Oh, yes, we can actually see. I love this. Good, so now we can start actually taking stock for the following days. We need french fries. No, we don't. We've got french fries. What else do we need? Sorry, I just scratched my mustache for a second there. Uh, we're low on milk. We are pretty low on la pipites. Can we fill these out now? Yes, this lady is buying all of the la pipites that the chi could possibly want for. Let's get another six boxes of la pipites. Don't know what that even means in French. Where are they? Here we go. La pipite. Add that to the cart. Boom. Buy that bad boy. What else? Uh, powdered sugar. We'll get that when we run out of it. We are running pretty low on the basmati boxes. The people are here now. We need two more boxes of the bougie flour. We don't want to run out of that stuff. Just two. Boop, boop. And done. Great. Ah, I got a name for your competition. Go away. That'd be a great idea, honestly. Okay, we also need ice creams. I don't know how they stack, though, so we'll just get a couple to, to experiment with. There. Four? Should be enough. Four ice cream boxes? Oh, good. They, they, they're half stacks. Excellent. Uh, we don't actually have anywhere for this. I'm going to get rid of that stack right there. Because we are going to buy them lots of four now that we know they're half stack. Put that one there. Now our restocking monkey is going to go and restock that whenever we damn well need them to. We have so many of these TV dinners, by the way. It's crazy. Uh, we still have room for another cereal. We're probably getting to the point where we could buy another license, right? We'll do that. We'll buy another license. I feel like we should buy another license anyway. All right, we've got 11.58 buckery booze in our pocket, which I love. What the hell is this guy doing? Why are you picking up the TV dinners and then not putting them back down, you absolute oaf? Oh, uh, there needs to be a patch in this game that allows you to kind of, like, consolidate the boxes. Because you can't take from another box, which means we just get all of these half-filled boxes just filling out the entire store, which is just an annoyance. Alright, good. All of that is restocked-ish, to an extent. We can probably fill out this entire fridge with butter. 
it's a bit of a cash cow. Maybe we do that. Maybe maybe we fill out the entire fridge with butter. Or maybe we go for another license. We'll see what the other We'll see what the other licenses are first, so we can see what other things we can start selling. What do we got? There's beer here. Oh, that's cash money. Let's probably let's go into beer. Or we could sell like bleach with the beer as well. Oh my god, it's like turning into King of Retail all over again. If we get ourselves a $5,000 loan, we can buy this license right here and then immediately stock it. We need to be able to st stack the boxes. Yeah, that is definitely a thing. But unfortunately, we work with what we've got, which is just kind of like these racks right here. Oh, we're pretty low on tomato sauce. Uh, we're completely out of mayonnaise, apparently. Is anybody restocking that? I think so. It just got filled up. Is this mayonnaise? Yep, that was mayonnaise. How much mayonnaise we got? Two more mayonnaise. All right, we'll wait until we completely run out of that before we actually end up restocking it. Otherwise, we'll just get a box of two right at the bottom of the other pile of all of the boxes. Honestly, like, here's a suggestion for the developers. If they would uh, lend me the air for just a split second. When you stick a bunch of boxes here, why don't they auto-sort the box with the lowest amount of articles to the top priority uh, so that when you pick up a box... Even if it was right up at the bottom, you still get the emptiest box. Because there's nothing more annoying than coming through here and then just having so many empty boxes. All right, the fries is being restocked. Excellent. Maybe we should check out the bank loan, right? But we can also pay this one off early because we have a loan already. I just paid it off. Done. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's all of our money gone. It's absolutely fine. We don't necessarily need a hell of a lot of money because this lady is about to generate heaps of it. Hey there, lady. How you doing? What are you buying? Oh, that's a lot of mayonnaise. You sure you can afford that? 69 bucks. Nice. Love to see it. Hello, sir. Hitman over here is going to buy a bunch of other things as well. This guy's getting a couple of lamb chops. Love that. Love that for him. Uh, and a heap of TV dinners. I wonder why. 105 bucks, though. Jesus, my dude. God, if only his cholesterol could do so, do as well as I am right now. All right, so we're probably running low on meats, right? Oh, no, we still got meats. I'll go again and I'll start restocking all this veal. Uh, dump it all down. This might be the empty box. Good, that is an empty box. So we can now restock on veal, which is going to be six packs, I think, because it's one of these little one-sixth stacks. And we've got some steaks here, too. Uh, I don't think we... Uh, no, we've, we're still going through this here box as well. We've got a bunch of this here salmon that we could probably go ahead and restock. Nope, or not. Still got a box with two more of this left in it. That's annoying. Oh, well. Okay, so the veal, we actually do need to replace. We also need to replace all the chocolate cereals. So we'll go ahead and do that. And once we, I think tomorrow, we'll be able to get ourselves another license. Because we are getting a huge amount of money now. Get all of this here cereal, because that's all that fits on a shelf. And we also need... I'm going to do the meat last, because it's the most expensive article. We are completely out of mayonnaise. Let's go ahead and get six lots of mayonnaise. All the way down here. Five and six. That, what, that's still 500 bucks. Oh my god, that's a lot of mayonnaise. Alright, good. We got that. Uh, we need lots and lots of this here green oil. I'm going to see if I can't unload this. I can. Great. Our restockers were just really, really lazy. I'm going to throw that in the doorway right there, hitting my restocker in the face. But I own their life, so that's absolutely fine. Now, we're going to need 12 of those. 12 green oils. That's probably going to be pretty expensive as well. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 200 each. We can buy one of these loads, but then we add this next one. We can't buy it. What about the cereal? How's the cereal doing? Dead Bees is not selling. Uh, ch Chunky Chippy is kind of selling a little bit. We're completely out of the chocolate pick. What else do we need? Probably not really much else, to be quite honest. All right, we've got lots of crab cakes still. Doesn't really look like we're even spending the crab cakes whatsoever. Ah. If there are physics, if you have over three boxes, you can trip and make everything fall out of the box. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. Or maybe, like, when you're holding a box and it's open and you sprint, like, make there a chance for you to just fall on your face and then drop everything on the box on the ground. Like, that'd be fun. That'd be a, a fun little mechanic to add to the game. <laughs> okay, let's start restocking. What the hell are you doing? Oh, my God. Seriously? Uh, 
that's probably the emptiest one, right? These TV dinners are actually becoming a bit of a headache. All right, I'm going to start restocking all of these chocolates on the racks. I'm going to start with the most full ones. Because if we stick the lowest on the top of the shelf last, it'll sandbag us. Okay, let's put on all the lights as well. I love being able to see in here. Uh, these guys can't see. That's pretty funny. Okay, good. What are you buying, lady? Two bottles of uh, hot sauce. Yep, three bottles of hot sauce. That's brave. Good luck. I bet she's going to rub it on herself. I bet she's got some kind of, like, viral outbreak, and she's going to rub the hot, hot sauce on herself. Apparently that works. Apparently that actually does something. Slippy Nightmare the Achievement would be called. <laughs> slippy Slippy. That'd actually be a really, really fun mod for this game. I do, see, here's the thing, right? It's in alpha, so nobody can actually mod this game yet. On account of the game, basically every time it would update, which is actually fairly regularly, every time it would update, it would break every single mod that would be made for it because it would just like shift around where everything's located in the scripts. Like if you add a script in the middle of a line of code, it breaks every single uh, mod that would rely on that script or every single mod that relies on code that relies on that script. It's just annoying uh, from a mod making perspective. I don't think anyone's going to mod this game until it's like version 1.0 or something like that. Uh, we need lots and lots of powdered sh sh sugar, sugar. We didn't buy the things we needed. Okay, that's fine. We'll wait until all of these guys check out. There's only one more lady here. She's buying a lot of mayonnaise too, so we definitely have to wait for her to check out. Couldn't find Ron sliced bread? Yeah, he doesn't live here. Hey, buddy. Uh... Sorry, I was just saying about how closed we were and how we were going to let that pretty lady through, but I don't really want to let you through there, sir. You you smell terrible. My God. What is that, tweed? Is that a tweed suit? I mean, it's, it's probably the nicest tweed I've ever seen, but my God, it's hideous. Jesus. Do you have checker patterns on your, on your tie? My God, man, who taught you how to dress? Yuck. Who taught you how to dress? Benny Hill? Okay, he's buying a lot of stuff, actually. Oh, no, he's not. He's only getting 60 bucks worth of stuff, and he, he couldn't get the cheese out. What an asshole. All right. Trips and falls on someone. Oh, yeah, just, like, bumping physics would be really funny as well. Just, like, you walk into somebody, it completely interrupts them, and they do this big, like, oh! Like, you know, an impact. Oh, what game is... I was just playing a game recently where... It was Assassin's Creed. Every time you bump into somebody in Assassin's Creed, you can literally shove them onto the floor if you choose. Uh, I'm going to try and restock all of this tomato sauce, which a lot of people around the world would call ketchup. That's not what we call it here in New Zealand. My dudes, hate to break it to you, but that's not what we call it. Uh, we probably want to restock all of these lepipitas. There's more lepipitas. Good, put that. Move this goddamn box. <laughs> uh, this is green oil. Love it. Let's go ahead and stick that there. And we'll keep on running all the way through. Got some mayonnaise. Good. I quite like mayonnaise. I just lied. I actually have a, um, a trauma-related thing with my mayonnaise. My stepdad uh, used to make pasta, like bolognese, with half a jar of mayonnaise in it. And it used to be his, like, his, his staple food. It was absolutely disgusting. My God, it was bad. Uh, we don't want to put that one there because that box is now empty. Wait, what the hell? This one's only got four in it. How did I swap them out? That was weird. I don't know how I did that. I really do not know how I did that. Okay, we've got more oil down here. Let's go ahead and put that there, I suppose. Oh, this is the one with four in it. Okay. Uh, that's fine. I'm just going to throw that back there so the monkeys have something better to do. Have we run out of anything else? Let's see. Probably run out of sushi already. Oh, no, we still have heaps of sushi. Perfect. Love that. Uh, peanut butter is going down real fast. Hate that. Coffee's going down pretty fast as well. Tea is just fine and dandy. Salmon as well. We're going to need a lot of salmon. We need lots of veal. Okay. Are we still restocking? I'm going to go ahead and just end the day. Because I don't know if we're still restocking. I don't think we are. We still have a grand in pocket. That's pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and buy whatever was in our cart right here. Some more of this olive oil. Great. And now we can probably start buying meat. Ha! Nice! 69 peanut butter. Uh, so we probably need another five salmons. That's probably going to be the cheapest one as well by a long shot. It's right here. Three, three, four, five. Jesus! 700 bucks! That's all of our money. 
down the drain, great. Uh, this veal that we're out of, where is it? There it is. Uh, so we need steak, we need veal, we need six of each. How much is that going to cost? Veal is going to be really expensive. It's going to be two grand. Ouch. Absolute ouch. But we need it. We, we actually do need it. Uh, let's go ahead and open the store. And everybody should have restocked. Dude, what are you doing? Restock! What are you doing? My dude! All right. I'll do your job for you. Don't you worry. What a twit. I'm going to go rob your competition. Go away. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. What a funny sentence. Go away. I'll be back. All right. Finally, here we go. All right. They're taking turns working. I don't know if I like this, this commie crap. Yuck. I don't know if I vibe any of this communist stuff that I'm witnessing right now. Okay. I'm going to grab this one. Throw this one into the corner here. Done. People should be auto-checking out. I'll grab this oil here too. Because obviously our dudes that we are paying money to, they don't want to work for a living. Wankers. Absolute wankers. They should be already coming in here and restocking. By the wedding. Okay, one guy, one guy is actually coming in here to restock. Great. Okay, good. I got arrested. Oh no. Oh no, you didn't get arrested and go away. You should have robbed piss off. What an abusive universe this is being, this is crafting. Okay, I'm thinking that maybe we should just take out a massive loan, buy the license, and then kind of like deal with it, right? Because then we can also buy all this meat. I think we should do it. I've done it. Okay, awesome. We're going to pay this off early. We're not going to pay the entire 8,000 buckery booze there. But we should probably also go into our payments. Make sure we pay all that. Good. Awesome. We've in, we've paid off a, like heaps of installments, I think. And now we can go ahead and buy this cart's worth of veal, which we are not selling. We need to be able to stock it. And we need another 400 buckery booze, which we can order pretty damn quickly. Just by letting people check out here. We are going to be able to get ourselves a really, really good amount of money very shortly, too. Let's start restocking this veal, which we almost ran out of. And if it's not on the shelves, we don't make money off of it. So that's good to know. We're already pretty close to our goal. Awesome. Love to see it. Love to see it. Uh, where is the meat? There it is. Okay, so we're also out of these steaks. How much is the steaks going to be? Not nearly as much. Okay, I'm going to spend all of this money on steak. Done. That's what we just spent our $5,000 loan on. Steak. What am I, uh, Daniel Larson? A little bit of a rabbit hole joke for everybody. Uh, okay, so we've got some veal chops to go back in storage there. More of them over here. I would literally pay extra to have these just automatically placed into my warehouse as well. Uh, where's the meat? I've already gotten lost. There it is. Good. The meat stacks up real high and we can sell for a heap as well, which is why I'm happy to over-invest into meats. We've already got almost a two grand back as well. We might be able to pay off our loan by tomorrow. It's pretty funny, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, let's grab that one there. Done. We just needed the money now so that we could actually sell some of these products. Because if we're not selling them, we're not actually making money on them. But I bet this guy's got TV dinners, right? Yep, full box of TV dinners. What an asshole. Uh, come over here. Products must be the same. Okay. Beef goes there. Done. I forgot to take the money, by the way. I ran out just after to tell them to open the register. Nice. I bet you tripped as well. I bet you jumped over the counter. I bet you opened the register. And then you and then you got a little bit uh, panicked because you realized you were doing a, um, a crime. And you realized that maybe jail is actually the punishment for doing such a crime. And you just ran out of the store in fear without grabbing the money. And you tripped over. You tripped over the... The counter, obviously, and then you just face planted right into the ground, broke your nose, unfortunately, and um, and and then the police just came to collect you because you were too busy worrying about how much pain you're in. Okay, good. We also got one more box of steaks. Excellent. Oop, there we go. Done. Apparently, sushi's too expensive. Don't really care too much. This bald man can uh, starve for all I care. Why the TV dinners? Okay, that guy's not doing anything while his his hands are full. Whoops, did not mean to stick that there. Go ahead and remove that label there. Excellent. Done. Everyone should be working now. 
Uh, let's go ahead and... We could almost restock the peanut butter with a full box. Everything's kind of going to the dogs, actually, with that one guy who refuses to work. Maybe we just don't over-purchase anything. It's probably going to be a better idea. Let's go ahead and get two boxes of french fries, because we actually do need them. Good. Grab these ones, yep. We turned undying in the undying into sushi. Oh, yes! Yes, we did, didn't we? Yep. That's her right there. This is actually technically Maki. Oh, this is from California, apparently. What, I thought the developer was French because there are so many French items. Maybe they're just buying assets off of international people. Oh, okay. What just happened? I just got jump scared by something. I just got jump scared. Was that like somebody restocking with the box and also somebody came right up to me as well? Okay, let's turn on the lights so we can see. There we go. Done. And we'll come all the way around here with this epileptic fit of a storage room. And we'll see what else we can do. We've got half of the loan basically in pocket right now. After spending four grand on meat. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Oh, that lady just bought a box of dead bees. Nice. Nice. Is it you? Was it you? Who bought the box of dead bees? Was it, was it you? Was it you, lady? Did you buy the box? Yes, there's a box of dead bees right there. I bet she loves that box of dead bees as well. She's probably going to go home and just rub them on herself as well. It's not food. Dead bees is not food. It's not made for human consumption. Lady, I hope you heard that. Oh, apparently we're out of powdered sugar, which is probably actually a good thing for us to buy. We'll get four boxes of it because it doesn't stack very well. And it's pretty high up here. Where are we? There we go. Uh, actually, we probably want another one as well, don't we, to refuel the shelves with. There we go. Nice. We almost got three grand in pocket by the end of the day. That's pretty impressive, if I do say so myself. Fun fact, it says like it smells like sushi during the neutral run on dying fight. That's funny. Oh, I noticed that. I did notice that. I did. I definitely noticed that. Okay, the display is full. Gonna throw that meat over there. Okay, so everything is being restocked about as well as we can handle it, right? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. I feel like the gameplay loop is supposed to be get a shelf for a single product. And then just kind of, like, mass spam it all over the place. Okay. We're going to wait for these guys to check out over here and also this lady here to check out too. Before we close the store. We are at the end of the day. Oh, people are still walking in, apparently. Even though we're closed. Excuse me, sir. Did you not hear that we are currently closed? What a jackass. Okay. There is no wrong sliced bread. That is why you can't find it, good sir. Let's try and restock this. Get the box out of the way. Damn it. <laughs> There's so much meat in these boxes. Oh, the ketchup is too expensive, apparently. Uh, everything is being restocked. There is another box of sugar that can be put down here. Is this guy restocking it? No, he is not. This guy is. Okay, that's going to be a whole box right there. Done. Perfect. Actually, now that I think about it, for the articles that are just annoying... Maybe we should get an entire shelf dedicated to them. Like, the cereal kind of doesn't stack very well. This box of sugar doesn't stack very well. Dead bees also doesn't stack very well. Maybe we just put all of these on their own entire shelf. And then when they run out, we get the storeroom plus the shelves, plus four. I feel like that might actually be the best strategy here. All right. We'll wait to finish the day. These guys are still restocking a little bit. You're doing the beef? No, you're doing the eggs. Gotcha. Uh, I'll do the beef. I'll sprint in here and I'll go and do some beefing, I think. Beef! There you go. The beef is going in here. So on the genocide run, we made that statement true. Yeah, we did. I don't think we ate her corpse, though. I don't think we ate Undyne's corpse, though. I would have. I am a human. It's not beneath me. Oh, look. Frosty pizza. We've got a box with one left in it going back to the storeroom. That's annoying. Uh, this guy, TV dinners. Yep, that's the TV dinners. Sweet mother of God. You know what? I think I've actually found a, a way of compartmentalizing everything as well. What if we just go ahead and, like, stuff everything that's in here into this box, and then we wait for this guy to come in here and refill it, and then we fill this box, right, until he's completely empty? Uh, oh, hello there. Why did you take the long way around? 
Okay, good, the box is full. This is now going right there. Okay, I think that actually may be a workaround for the annoyances that we just had. Ah, I'm gonna eat those TV dinners. Oh God, I I used to like TV dinners back when I was quite lazy, but I, I don't anymore. I, I cook for myself now. Once you kind of like, you get the talent of being able to smell spices. It's really, really hard to enjoy TV dinners because TV dinners don't really have any spices or anything like that. They're just really easy to make. All right, good. And this guy has crab cakes. He's going to stick them under my feet. That's pretty funny. All right, we're going to end the day. And they should be good to continue stocking. How much have we got? 3,500 bucks. We are actually going to pay off that loan by today. That is insane. Oh, no, we don't. We don't want to pay off that loan, do we? We wanted to use it to buy the license. Are we empty on anything? Yep, powdered sugar is completely empty, and basmati also completely empty. Go ahead and get both of those things. Uh, let's get uh, four boxes of powdered sugar, and we're going to need six boxes of the basmati right here. Done. And that's all we can really get there. I don't really fit anymore. Need four boxes of bougie flour as well. Three, four. Done. 100 bucks down the drain. And that's this shelf basically sorted. The La Pipites are still looking pretty good. We only got two more of these spaghettes. And we restock them? No. All right. I'm just going to throw that over there. Uh, restock monkeys can deal with that. I don't care. Crab sticks are fine. We are completely out of uh, these things. Appropriate microwave TV dinners. A tasteless nuke joke. Where are they? Here they are. All right. How do they stack? I don't remember how they stack. Let's see. Are they flats? Yeah, they're just half stacks. Right. What else we got? Not a hell of a lot. Uh, sushi. The big sushi is completely empty. So we need four boxes of big sushi, uh, which would be this one. That's 588 bucks. Done. Buy that. We're completely out of the tomato sauce. Let's go ahead and restock that. It's probably right at the bottom. There it is. Three, three, four, five, six. That's pretty cheap, actually, for tomato sauce. All right, good, done. Mm, we probably should be getting the hot sauce restocked as well, the barbecue sauce. Okay. Something bad happened. Go away. Just got an ad on YouTube. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not go away. <laughs> They're our biggest competitor, I think. I don't know. They haven't really made an impact. And we can still just leave our stock out here. No one is actually interested in grabbing any of this. Oh, we can do an insurance fraud. No, they're not coming this way, apparently. Oh, here we go. Yes, we can do an insurance fraud. It's going to hide behind this post right here. And... Yeah! Oh, hey, hey, you hit my stock! Get back here! Get back here! You just hit my sushi! You hit my sushi! Stop! We need to swap insurance! I think. Is that a thing people still do? Probably not. Did I just watch that guy spawn at this door? Kind of weird. What the hell is going on here? Huh. I feel like it's reflecting, but not well. <laughs> huh. They're in the building behind mine? Okay. Oh, dear. Uh, they could also be above us. We just don't know. What the hell is up there? Oh, no. I think it's just kind of like one of those, one of those brick buildings. Maybe it's a facade. Why is the sun so... Visible over everything that should be blocking it right now. Well, that's not Euclidean. That's weird. Weird. All right. So we've got three grand in pocket still right now. That's pretty awesome, actually. I don't know about these Frozens, though, unfortunately. We are completely out of the yellow box cereal right at the top of this yeah, list. So we'll go ahead and get that. Here we go. Four boxes of this. Done. Purchase that. I don't think we actually make many sales at the start of the day. We also desperately need more french fries. Probably need another four boxes, to be honest. We're completely out of spaghetti. Hopefully. We're about to find out. There it is. Get another four of these. Or did we buy some? Did we already buy some spaghetti? I feel like we may have already bought some spaghetti. Oh, that's powdered sugar. Throw that over there. No, we don't have any spaghetti. Okay, we're actually going to get the spaghetti then. My bad. There we go. We bought it. Cool. I'm going to rob go away again. Wish me luck. Best of luck, my dude. <laughs> oh, now this is the kind of crime that I'm all about. Crime that I profit off of. Uh, we still need... 
Maybe if this isn't pizza, no. We probably need three more crusty pizzas. We probably need two of each of the pizzas, honestly. Where are the pizzas? All the way down here, I bet. Yes, there. So we need three crusties. And we need... Where are the other ones? There we go. Two of these De Niro pizzas. Okay, good. Not making a hell of a lot of money, honestly. Ah, well, the money all comes at the end of the day anyway. Okay. Still got all of the sushi here. The coffee is uh, running out at a f pretty alarming rate. Oh my god, did we make this too cheap? No, we're selling it. It can't be too cheap if we're selling it. Uh, okay, we're out of milk as well. Let's get four boxes of milk. Even though we probably don't want to realistically be restocking it anymore. It's probably a waste of our time to be stocking. Regardless, we still need to actually stock it. Good. Okay, we're almost at the three grand mark. We're at the three grand mark. And we are about to begin our night shift, which is where we make literally all of our money. I think it's because everyone's like buying dinner. I wonder if that's actually a thing. Couldn't find whiff chicken. Yeah, it stacks like ass and I don't like stocking it. Okay, good. We are level 32 right now. Oh my God. I think tomorrow we're just going to buy that license like outright. Probably makes the most sense. Wait, did we restock the cereal that we were out of? No, we... I think we did, actually. I think we did restock it. Good. All right, uh, what's low? What's low? Maybe we just make this whole shelf for dead bees. It doesn't sell very well, though. That's the thing. It's Tuesday. They're closed today. Oh, no. They're living up to their name of go away, are they? Those bastards. Okay. So, we don't have anywhere near enough to restock that going to go ahead and we are going to fill this box here with coffee. Done. going to go ahead and put that down there. And this guy with the other box of coffee should completely remove all bags. Oh, there's one left. Oh, well, at least it's on the top of the pile. That's still fine. I'm happy with that. Okay, the salmon is getting kind of low. I'm going to restock that for us. Wait, what are you holding? Did you just get salmon? Yeah, okay. This guy's doing it for us. We don't have to worry about it too much then. Or maybe we do. You only put two bags there. Yeah, where is it? There it is. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this ourselves. If you want a job done right, you gotta, you got to pay a bunch of people to realize that you have to do it yourself in the end anyway. That's how the phrase goes. All right, good. So, a couple of people still checking out. Doesn't really look like there's anyone else coming in. I stand massively corrected. My bad. I was going to start restocking things, but I don't actually have to until they leave. Apparently cereal's too expensive. Womp womp. Oh, well. Look at me here. All of our shelves are pretty flush, honestly. Go away or only open on the weekends. What a weird business model. <laughs> what a super strange business model. Uh, we'll pay off that. No, we won't pay off that loan. We could pay off that loan. I think we just get the license, right? I think we get the license. Let's do that. Well, so we've got all the products that we need. I'm going to go ahead and go into management. We're going to buy this $3,500 product license for beer. Nice. All right, let's see what we've just unlocked. We have just unlocked chips. Okay. Covidos. That's funny. It's like Doritos, but with COVID. Uh, so we get 16 in a box. That's actually pretty generous. I bet it's a huge box, though. It's probably a really annoyingly large box. Uh, we'll get four boxes of it, I think. Vodka, right here. 12 in a bottle. Tw sorry, 12 in a box. Don't know. I bet it half stacks. We'll get four. Hummus. I'm pretty sure hummus is spelled wrong. Uh, this beer is probably not actually worth selling. And, okay. So, we have to put this hummus in the fridge anyway. I bet it stacks well. Let's get six of those when we, whenever we can. Good. Is anybody checking out? Nope. All right. I'm going to end the day right here. And we should still be at a pretty damn good spot. We still have 200 buckery booze. I love that for us. Why are you holding all of that powdered sugar? You dumbass. Have you tried? I don't know. Not doing that? What is the powdered sugar? We do have a stockpile for it, don't we? Maybe I'm the dumbass. I think I might actually be the dumbass. Oh, no. We actually have so much of it over here. All right. There you go, buddy. I'm going to throw that over there. 
Apparently, we got an extra box of powdered sugar, which has sabotaged us, annoyingly. Uh, coffee's not looking so good. Can we afford this yet? No. We need 623 buckery booze to buy all of this. Now, if we look over here, we still have one shelf area to stock, right? And that's going to be the chips. I think the vudya, we got to stick it into... Oh, no. We have to put that on a shelf as well. Maybe we buy a shelf for the vudya? Das Verdanya? I don't speak Russian. Mom, where are we going? Piss off. <laughs> ah, yes, the abusive mother style. I love that. All right, good. We're restocking everything pretty damn well. Still got a bunch of boxes on the sidewalk, so kind of hard to tell what's actually in the storeroom and what's not. But it's getting heaps of tea. Good. The lady's buying basmati. Love it. Okay, I think we will kind of like chop and change some of these shelving units. We probably will get ourselves... Some dedicated shelves for some dedicated articles. It probably makes the most sense, honestly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that makes the most sense. So, peanut butter is probably actually also a sauce. Like, if you really want to want to boil peanut butter down to its raw components, it is probably peanut sauce. So, if we put peanut sauce underneath all these other sauces, that would be thematically consistent. Let's go ahead and do that. How much peanut butter we got? Plenty. I don't want a full box, please. Okay, I'll take this here. Full one, it seems. Let's put this on here. And then we are going to use this to destock this shelf. Put that there. Remove that label. And I don't know what we're going to be doing otherwise. Okay, good. So, we've got hot sauce. We've got tomato sauce. We've got egg sauce. And we've also got peanut sauce. Great. Love that. Uh, let's throw all of that peanut sauce in there. Good. What the hell was that guy buying? Is that guy buying a bunch of meat? Damn, well, better have been. <laughs> okay, good. So let's buy these things. Now we have brand new articles. And they have fallen over. Is this vodka? Yep. Okay, so I think this half stacks. Maybe? I'm about to find out. We're out of barbecue sauce. Get the vodka over here. This is going to be the liquor aisle. Yep, that is an annoying box size. This one. The Cavitos. I'm going to stick those here. And they stack... Side by sides, so let's stick them there and there. Vodya can go here and here. And now, let's go ahead and... Can we fridge this? No, we got to put it on a shelf, apparently. Let's put the Vodya next to all of the cereal here. I am looking at an employee's mouth. That was weird. Excellent. I'm going to throw that next to the bin because I'm lazy. Let's go ahead and change up the prices here. I'm going to piss off. Want anything? <laughs> yeah, come back. All right, uh, so we'll set these for $13. 13 is a real unlucky number, and it is, in fact, Russian. We've got to be said, are probably really unlucky at this at this current point in time. The whole world seems to be uniting against them with this whole Ukraine thing. Bit of a shame. I don't really know much about the whole situation. All I know is that the, the kind of, like, the stuff between Russia and Ukraine has already been going on for around about 300 years before this actual war kicked off. That's all I know. That is literally all I know about the war that's going on at the moment. And that it's incredibly divisive. So I'm literally demotivated to know anything about it. Oh, Cavitos. So we want to put these on a shelf as well, don't we? Uh, for now, we'll stick them on here, I guess. How do they stack? Not well. A lot of them come in a bag, though. Okay, we want to sell these for maybe six bucks a bag. Good. I'm happy with that. Excellent. And I'm going to start stocking these here. Good. And now we want this box to go onto the storage rack there. Great. This one right here can also go in storage there. Love it. And I'm going to start sticking all of these microwave dinners down here too. Right there. Good. 24 of them in a box. That's pretty generous. Get more of this vodka. Excellent. And what is this? Crusty pizza. Gross. Gross. Ew. I dated a girl who reminded me of that. Uh, we'll get the tomato sauce and we'll stick it on the rack right here. We also need to buy more hot sauce as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Where is the hot sauce? It is right here. Six of them, please. Yes. And thank you. Done. We've got 800 bucks in our pocket. We just bought a license to buy another bunch of stuff. It's pretty cool, actually. I really like that. All right, good. Oh, they're actually starting to restock everything. Are you restocking the sauce? My man. Love that. Okay, good. Peanut sauce is stocked. Egg sauce is stocked. Tomato sauce is stocked. And, of course, the habanero sauce is also stocked. Let's start filling out these shelves here so that everybody else knows that we can kind of keep restocking them. One there. Great. And what is this that is 
cereal that goes up here, please. And thank you. Oh, it is kind of like auto sorting now. Strange. I don't remember there actually being a patch for this game since we last played it. Okay, we've got TV dinners going over there. 48 of them. That's heaps. Excellent. And we'll come over here. Enable that. What is this? Hot sauce. I know exactly where that goes. That goes right here. Excellent. And this one also goes on that rack right there. And this one right here also goes on the rack right here. I know it kind of looks like you're watching a YouTube video with two times speed on, but this is how I play relaxing games, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, this doesn't fit. Throw that there. There's four of these powdered sugars left. Hopefully we can just like dump them here. Nice. Done. And dump that into the bin. Awesome. We got 1500 bucks. Love that. Oh, I love Russia flavored vodka. Do you? I'm more of a, um, we got really nice vodka here in New Zealand. Actually, someone was asking me what kind of cuisine we have here in New Zealand. And my answer was we don't have cuisine here in New Zealand. We've got a bunch of like international dishes that New Zealand just makes really, really well. We don't have anything that New Zealand's famous for. We do have alcohol. Very, very good alcohol. We've got incredibly good alcohol. Uh, we've got Sky Vodka made here in New Zealand. We've got, um, I think it's 42 Below Vodka made here in New Zealand as well. We've got a bunch of uh, artisanal ciders. This is the only country I've ever seen a lemon cider sold in, and it is delicious. I don't know if anyone's ever had a lemon cider. Probably not, because I haven't seen it in any other country. But my God, when you ferment lemon with sugar, it turns out so nice. It's like, um, it's like a uh, fizzy boiled candy. But you you drink it. It's a bit of a shame, though. Because on one hand, I would love to be famous for the flavor of New Zealand alcohols and the, like, the consistency, the quality control, and the... Not the flavor profiles, but more like the texture. More like the texture of our alcohol. But unfortunately, New Zealand actually also has this heinous, heinous binge drinking culture, which I am kind of disgusted by. I used to do it myself when I was uh, significantly younger than I am now, but... Now, I look at binge drinking and I think, man, that looks like a bad morning. <laughs> like, it's probably fun in the moment, but not great. Man, can't wait to break in to go away. Nice. Yeah, the more they put the signs up, the more you want to do it, right? Do we have any more dead bees? Are we out of dead bees? Oh, we're, uh, we're almost completely out of dead bees. That's crazy. Okay, I'm going to restock our boxes of dead bees up here. Great, while we have the last couple of people checking out. Excellent. I think these workers have checked out. That guy's real sweaty. Well, we don't own a shower, I suppose, and he doesn't exactly go home. Oh, that guy's buying a bunch of dead bees. Oh, spent 78 bucks on it. We got two and a half grand in the pocket. I'm actually going to wait for these guys to restock really quickly so we can see what the storeroom is looking like tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and do the teas. Never mind. This guy. Nope. I'm doing the teas. Uh, peanut sauce is probably fine. I'll get some of this tea. Good. We'll fire it all up here. Might not empty a box, but we will alleviate some of the annoyances of the NPCs. We've only got four T's left in that. We've got one bougie flower destocked. I'm going to do that because that'll be a waste of a trip for these guys. Where is it? Oh, we're out of bougie flower. That's good to know. Great. Uh, we need to restock La Pipideuse. Apparently that is one that people just don't want to prioritize. There's only two boxes in here. Are you serious? All right, that's your... You guys deal with that problem right there. That mess I just made, you guys break into that. Go away, put another ad on YouTube. Man, they are expanding fast. I hope they're not doing better than we are. Because we are doing pretty damn good, honestly. This is one of those games where you can go bankrupt real easy if you're not paying attention. Uh, we're out of coffee. I'm looking for the La Pipitu. There we go. La Pipitu's are right there. What is La Pipitu's? I have no idea. Literally no idea. Yeah, we're completely out of the coffee. Are they restocking the shelves now? What are they doing? Uh, two of them are just standing around, which means there's only one thing left to restock. Great. Excellent. We have two grand in pocket. That's pretty damn awesome. I love that. I love that for us. Okay, now we can go around and start restocking all of the things that we're empty on. We need four boxes of bougie flour. Let's go ahead and get four boxes of bougie flour. Uh, where is it? There it is. Four boxes right there. This isn't even the first time we've bought four boxes. Ugh. Of, of bougie flour. Sorry, I had a little bit of acid reflux sneaking up on me there. Uh, we're almost out of the fries. I'm not too interested in restocking it just yet, though, until it's completely empty. We need 
four boxes of dead bees. Let's go ahead and get ourselves four boxes of dead bees. It's probably down a little bit further. There they are, dead bees. Right here. Done. Four boxes of dead bees. Great. Probably also need to get a bunch of the... Are these ice creams? What are these? Yeah, they're ice creams. Okay, let's get two boxes of ice creams. Uh, don't know where we're going to find those. And I think today we will be able to potentially pay off the loan. Good. I'm about to make go away. Go away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him. Get him with a Molotov cocktail. Das for Danya. Blat. Just trying to remember what that uh, what that custom Russian was. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. We also need uh, 12 boxes of coffee. But what is this? My my weekly supermarket shop? Or is the coffee? I drink a lot of coffee, actually. I do drink a lot of coffee. I know it's not particularly good for you in huge quantities, so I don't drink a huge quantity of it. I just kind of like space it out across my day. Good. Spent 600 bucks on coffee. Nice. You got a little bit of a taste of what it's like to live in New Zealand now. Uh, Chocolate pick is pretty low. Doesn't really look... Oh, uh, oh, we're almost out of the yogurts this time. That's completely new. It's been so long since we ran out of yogurt. I think that's going to be really cheap to refill as well because they stack into boxes of six. All right, where is it? Probably way down here. Right here. How much is it? 149 bucks? Hell, I'll pay that. All right, I'm glad we're kind of like not stuck with all of these TV dinners as well. It's quite nice. All right, we're selling French fries, selling all these pizzas. Great. Everything is doing just fabulously. We could probably even start stocking another article in that fridge right there as well. Maybe. Okay, what else we got? So, we got beer. There's 15 in a box. Don't know if we really want to sell this. It's $2.50 per unit. That's not a huge increase in price. The hummus, also not a huge increase in price. Actually, maybe we just want to start stocking all of them anyway. All right, I'm going to buy a bunch of these boxes. There's probably too many of them. Uh, let's go ahead and buy this. And we're going to add this to cart. We're going to buy these beers. Going to add these blonde beers to the cart. Or do we want this one? Whoa! I like this one, actually. No, those go on shelves. Okay, so we're going to buy these as well. Done. We're going to get six hummus. It's probably excessive for hummus. And we want these huge ticket items. I bet they don't stack very well, though. Okay, that's going to be 527 buckery booze. And this is going to be 600 bucks. Can we afford this? Yes. Okay, damn B to paying off our loan. Let's just irresponsibly kind of branch out as much as, we, as much as we can. Okay, this stuff here, Fess. We'll stick this on this shelf right here. I don't think that stacks very well. We can only get six six packs in this right here, which is actually going to be a huge cash cow for us, I think. What the hell am I looking at? Oh, it's, a ke it's an actual keg. Gotcha. All right, how much are these? These are now 30 bucks. No, they're not. If 34 bucks. Done. Good. Uh, that is out of the way. We got some honeybees. Dead bees. Uh, I think we should probably get ourselves a couple more shelves. Because these kegs right here, we might want to get an entire shelf for them so that they stack properly. That's probably going to be a good idea, actually. Let's do that right now. Where are the shelves? Single shelf right here. Good. They are pretty cheap as well. So let's go ahead and get ourselves four of them. We can afford to do that pretty soon. Nice! Hey, this Bray Burns. What if Jensen did this in real life? Go as finally burn away. What? Doing what in real life? Like, uh, stocking a supermarket. I'm really good at it, actually. I'm really, really good at management, stuff like that. I've got a bunch of experience in it. I just quite like doing it in simulation games because it relaxes me. I don't know why, but, like, doing house chores just makes me angry, right? I don't know why it makes me angry because if I have to set time aside to do something... I would autonomously do myself. That just annoys me. But like m doing management, they're just sitting at a computer and managing like an infrastructure for a for a company or a club or some kind of society. I'm really happy to do that. That's I find that fun. I find that fun. A lot of people find it boring admin tasks, but I'd be happy to do that eight hours a day. Oh, getting a job. Yeah, no, I I have had jobs. Yeah. It's about where I live, though. Unfortunately, there's nobody where I live hiring administration positions for people with no uh, kind of, like, university bachelors or masters or anything like that. I don't have any university qualifications, so 
So nobody in my hometown is really going to hire me for anything other than literally minimum wage hand in hand as a as a as a carpenter's laborer or something like that. Pretty crazy. The deed is done. Excellent. Okay, hopefully those YouTube ads are gonna gonna go away. Holy hell, we've got a lot of money. I looked away for literally a split second to kind of like complain about where I live, and now here we are. Okay, I'm gonna buy a grand's worth of shelving. That was probably excessive. Oh my god. Okay, we're probably gonna have to cordon off the street now. Okay, good. We've got a shelf right here. Let's throw that over there so now I can access the fridge. And now I'm gonna go ahead and place it maybe. Uh, we'll stick it right. We'll put all the things that we want people to be buying right next to the checkout, right? I think that's probably gonna be the best idea. Let's go ahead and find where the hell that gigantic stockpile of. Where was it? Kegs. Is this a keg? Yes. No. No. That's not it. There we go. There's kegs. So we don't actually want kegs to be stored back here necessarily. We just want to buy them and immediately put them on these shelves here. One, two, three, four. Good. So if that's excellent. That's two boxes worth on a shelf. So now we can actually buy four boxes at a time without kind of like gumming up our entire infrastructure. What's this? Hummus. Excellent. Let's start stocking the hummus. I'm going to stick the hummus next to the butter because that's the same thing. Butter is basically just hummus with meat. Uh, I'm going to set it to $4.20 because it's a meme. Excellent. Nice. Put a slot machine. Promote gambling in your store. Oh, yeah. We should put a slot machine right next to these checkouts. Can we move these? Can we move this one? No. I think they're a little bit too close to the exit. Should be fine, though. Let's go and find ourselves some more of this here. Oh, that's hummus. Don't want that. Probably want to rack this hummus somewhere. We don't want to rack it. Probably where these kegs are. Because those kegs don't stack very well. Those kegs stack like absolute R. We still need storage for them anyway. Ugh! Ugh! Okay, we are going to uh, put a new shelf down to stockpile whatever that piss was. Uh, let's just put this right in the walkway because it's funny. And then we'll move it after we actually fill it up. Okay, one here, one here, one here, one here. Someone else can refill that for all I care. Uh, we're going to sell these for 13 bucks because it's a really unlucky. Profit of four bucks? Piss off. How about we sell for 16 bucks? There we go. Profit of seven. That's fine. Nice. Uh, where's the... Oh, they're actually restocking all the shelves. Wow, that stocks well. Holy hell. Yeah, we want lots of this stuff, I think. Good thing we spent three and a half thousand buckery booze on that, huh? Oh my god. Ah, I'm stuck. <laughs> I just got hit by a car. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> all right, we'll set all of these up here. These stack really well. Oh, I love these. Okay, good. Perfect. Uh, flat that down there. Got another keg right here. Another keg up. Go ahead and just jam them. Oh, they double stack. Perfect. Ooh, okay. Nice. What is this? More keg? Sure. I think we've got enough room for it, right? And one there. Good. Okay, we can probably put in another entire box on there. If we can find one. Yep, this is just more of that blonde beer. This stuff stacks well. It's kind of expensive, too. Oh, it fully stacks onto a shelf. Okay, that should completely fill it out, right? Yep, that should be empty. Very good. Nice. This license is probably the best one we've bought so far. Good grief. <sighs> the car was with go away. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> they were ready to hit me. They were ready to strike me down where I stood. Uh, let's go ahead and actually turn the lights on in our storage so our monkeys can see what they're doing. We probably don't want too many of the boxes of the kegs, do we? We just want to get four at a time. Then we want to stock them all across these racks here. There should still be another box of it somewhere. Is this it? No, that's hummus. Okay, I'll throw that, that over there so that my monkeys can move that. What is this? Oh. Oh, this stuff stacks well. Oh, I like this stuff. Let's put this stuff here. 15 in a box. Jesus. Okay, we're probably going to want to get ourselves another rack in case we find some more beer, because I see a lot of these small boxes here. All right, got some blonde ale right there as well. Our monkeys can go ahead and stock those. We could probably get away with stocking all of that on a single shelf. So I'll go ahead and we'll organize this just to kind of like be over this away. Right there. Very nice. Excellent. Uh, we'll actually kind of like, we'll make this hard to miss. As soon as you get into the store, we'll kind of like, Make sure that you see this product. Like, right there. Excellent. 
And this one here can go on the rear of this. So if you want a sauce of some sort, like a hot sauce, tomato sauce, egg sauce, or of course, peanut sauce, you're going to have to go all the way around this, I think. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, can we close this? Oh, we can! What? Uh, I don't really understand what's going on here. You guys want maybe, um... This isn't my responsibility. What am I doing? Okay, our monkeys are moving all of our stock back, which is awesome. I love that. Uh, let's actually give them a little bit of a hand by throwing all of this into the doorway. I think that would be a really good idea. Boop. And this one as well. Throw that over there. Excellent. Throw that there. Good. I'm going to go ahead and throw all of this before we start setting out the new beer racks. What is this? Hummus? That can go over there as well. Good, throw that over there. And everything that's still in the doorway probably won't have a storage slot in the storage for it. I right, good, throw that over there. And in it goes. Okay, we've still got a bunch of shelves out here. I'll just leave it there. I don't really care too much. Boop. Great. Love that. Ah. Hydronia, Astronia. Oh, I need to uh, change the title of the stream, don't I? Because I haven't done that yet. I need to um, change the title. It's the last supermarket sim. So basically what I'm doing today is I am polishing off some of the more relaxing uh, games that we have been playing on the channel for probably nothing short of a month so far. And fortunately, I've got a great game lined up to replace it, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. Right, I'll save that. Great. I've changed the name of the stream. Good. All right. Wonderful. These guys aren't doing anything. Okay, uh, so, these beers do actually have a place to go and get stacked on, but it, these guys just aren't stocking them. Okay, let's start stocking these on the shelves over here. So, this is going to be the individual bottles of piss. Oh, never mind, it needs to be in a fridge, apparently. My bad! Okay, let's throw an entire box of it down here. Great, I'm going to throw that off in the corner. And now we want the blonde stuff to be a little bit higher because we are... We like the flavor of blonde ales better, don't we? Excellent. Done. Now we need to set the prices. Uh, let's set them for $3.50, which is probably one-fifth of what you would expect to pay for an individual bottle here in New Zealand. Uh, these can be five bucks. And even split. Nice. <laughs> oh, it was a maze to get caught. <laughs> Go on inside. Go away. Nice. Um, uh, by the way, maze is M-A-I-E, M-A-I-Z-E. So if you want to do your, uh, your puns, you can, you can do them like that. Oh, this rack is full. Stupid. Character you play as is a professional hoop shooter. He is a little bit of a hoop shooter, isn't he? He kind of knows exactly what he's doing. These guys don't want to work. Uh, that's fair enough, honestly. I don't blame them. So, these things stock really well. We should probably actually just get a bunch of these instead of buying them in lots of six. We'll probably get them in ten packs, maybe. Uh, no one's doing anything. Probably best just to end the day and get rid of those two customers who are glitched. All right, we've got 480 bucks in our pocket. This shelf holds nothing. We're now stocking hummus and two other beers. What else we got? Why are they putting hummus here? Oh, I see. That's why. All right, it doesn't stack very well. We're selling vodka at a, at a, at a, at a pretty alarming rate, got to be said. Uh, what else can we buy? Let's go back into the products. So, that's it. We've got these here blonde ale packs. And we've got kegs. Wait. Yeah, these stack really well, actually. I think we're already stocking the six packs. Are we? Are we stocking the six packs? Yeah, there they are. Okay. Good. Let's move this over to the liquor aisle. Which is now, I have deigned to be right there. Hopefully our dudes can get through this door. Great. Love it. Uh, this shelf just does nothing. <laughs> for fun. It's all for funsies. Uh, actually, I've got a pretty good place we can put it. We can put it, like, right in the notch there. There we go. It looks kind of disgusting. It, it's really uninviting now when you come into this little item here to get some of these maxi cones. We'll probably end up paying off our entire loan today, I think. I right, got some kegs. Good. The government has come in to buy some habanero hot sauce. Great. Oh. 
They have remade Go Away and go, has Go Away again. Nice. Ah, well, what's what's a stimulating simulator game without a little bit of competition? All right, I'm going to restock this one carton of egg. No, I'm not, <laughs> apparently. Whoops. Okay, let's just leave that there. What else we got? Uh, powdered sugar. We're pretty low on basmati. We could probably do with re-upping a few things. Uh, big sushi's almost out of. Actually, we're not really running low on a hell of a lot of stuff, are we? Gotta be said. Okay, let's see how much of the money we are now making. We just made 48 bucks off that guy. For a, for a like, uh, first half of the day shop, that was actually pretty good. Should I burn go away again? Yes, absolutely. There will only be one. Piss off. For anyone just getting into the stream, <laughs> sorry for that microaggression. That's what our stream, what our store is called. Okay, good. Come through here. Got some chops. Good. He's also getting some prepiate uh, microwave dinners. 146 bucks for a shop. My God. Okay, we are now snowballing. If we can actually pay our loan off today, we're going to be in a great spot. This guy's buying some boxes of dead bees. Love that. He's also getting some racist pizza. Good for you. You live your best life, you racist asshole. Right, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and see how much the loan requires us to pay now. Uh, oh, hate this. Let's not look at that. Okay, so if we pay this off early, we get four, four and a half grand. We can pay that loan off. And we don't have to worry about these repayments here, which is really nice. Because we don't want to pay off this, this full 8,000 bucks. We want to save 3,000 of it. Should I burn go away again? Nah, just just let them do what they're doing. It's obviously not working out for them because someone's already burned their, their building down at least once. Probably need to get some spaghetti. We're completely out of fries. Let's get eight boxes of fries. That sounds excessive, but it, that's the demographic we've chosen. Here we go. Eight boxes of it. Done. That's 400 bucks worth of frozen chips. My God. Oh, apparently we still have a little bit of fries. That's going to really screw the AI over. We need some spaghetti. We need some spaghetti down here. I think it half stacks. So we can get some, maybe, four boxes of spaghetti. Let's get four boxes of spaghetti. Yeah, I think so. I think that's it. We are getting pretty low on the sauces too. Everything else seems to be doing just fine and dandy. Yes. Uh, Chocolate pick's running low. Dead bees. We're down one whole box. But that's fine as well. Guy jump scared me a little bit. Wow. Light emulsive cocktail. What should I use to burn it? Uh, how about the lighter? <laughs> how about you just like, um, you strike a match against your stubble, against your facial hair, like they used to do in those films. You know, the quintessential staple of manliness, whether or not you can strike a match with your stubble. I find it a little bit toxic, but, you know, I can't strike a match with my stubble. So maybe I'm just jealous. Maybe I'm just a jealous hater. Of the ability to do so such a thing. Uh, this one can go here. We don't actually have room for these shelves, but we will. Right, that lady just phased through one of our shelves. That's also non-Euclidean. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, we'll box that back up, of course. And we'll throw that. There we go. Oh, sorry, sir. I think I just um, killed this really skinny, stone-cold Steve Austin look-alike. Okay, we don't actually want these... These peanuts here. Kenneth? Whoops. Where'd my box go? Oh, no. Come off it. Come off it. Really? All right. I'm going to go ahead, open this up, and we are going to get all of this peanut butter into this box right here, and we remove this label so we can start stocking vodka. Vodka! Das Verdania! There we go. Great. wonder if we can get boxes and boxes and boxes of, of vodka. Like a box of, of vodka boxes? We can get like a matryoshka doll of vodka. That's Russian. I'm pretty sure. Good. And boop. what is this? Chips. Okay, I'll put this over here. Great. And that can go on top of that. Now that we've consolidated that, let's keep on start packing all of this crap out. Consolidate that as well. Great. Let's get these here. Chippies too. There they go. 12 bags in a single box is rubbish, honestly. It's very bad. I do not like that. God, I wish I could hire more people. I don't know why there's such weird artificial limits here. Oh, no. We've got too many chips. Oh, no, we don't. We still have another shelf, don't we? Yeah, we still have another shelf for these. Okay, uh, grab that. Put that on here. 
good. 24. Pretty sure this one's not full. No, it's full. Definitely full. We'll get this one. And we'll jam it just there. Great. Okay, it's not like I was using that. And we've got more chips just over here. What's this guy holding? Yogurt. Okay. That's stupid. Go ahead and just drop this here, I suppose. We'll double... We'll double stack all of the yogurt. We need lots and lots of big sushis. We've got two grand in the pocket. I didn't even look at our money. Uh, or is this the small ones? Mm, hard to say, actually. How's that sushi looking? Yeah, it's full. We've got a full display. Good. Okay, so that should be the entire unit stockpile there. I hope he's not coming into the storeroom. No, he's not even... He's not even moving. He's just going to hold those chips forever. Okay. Want to watch? Yes. I, I want to see you light my competitors on fire. But not in kind of like a, a an evil way. More of kind of like a, a curious interest kind of way. Like I'd light my own building on fire, but it would it would cost me my livelihood. I just want to see what happens, honestly. All right, good. What are we looking at? So, we are still good for ice creams. We're still good for everything, actually. In fact, we're stocking more things than we were before. Pretty funny. Uh, how's the Vodya? Wood is completely out. Did I not stock it here too? Oh, I did, yes. Yeah, we're going to need more Vodya. We'll need another three boxes of Vodya, I think. We wanted to pay off our loan, but for some reason we couldn't. I don't know why we couldn't, but... You know, such is the state of the world sometimes. What have we got now? 1941. Terrible year. Terrible, terrible year to mention anything. Uh, realistically. Simple stack hummus. Oh, no, actually, we don't want to do that at all. Okay, we just bought too much hummus initially. Okay, so... The beers need restocking. The veal needs restocking. I'll go and do the the veal, I suppose. Whoops. There's, it is, in fact, a cash cow of ours. I love how we can't get rid of the label while holding one of these. We actually have to throw it on the ground. Okay, uh, here it is. Let's go ahead and restock as much of this as is humanly possible. I'm just going to throw that in the corner because I'm lazy. Probably do with getting another keg. Order. Let's do that. Let's buy another keg. Why not? All the way down here. Here it is. Just the one. Boop. Go ahead and order that. Done. And now we need, I think, four boxes of Vudya? About to find out. Okay. Does the Vudya double stack? Let's, let's do an investigation. Let's see. Yes, it does. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to take some of the Vodya and drop it all here. Very good. Come around behind your store. What, is it actually on fire? Okay, I'm coming around behind the store. But I swear to God, if my competitor is not burning to death, screaming in a pile of ashes and viscera, I'll be very disappointed. What the hell is this? What is this? Oh. Somebody already bought the place. Okay. It wasn't... Oh, no. There is actually a chain around here. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's very bad. Okay, we're getting out of here. There's a third one there. Oh, piss. We have to do better, don't we? And they're getting Ferraris driving past as well. All we have is kind of like a bunch of crap. and Some, some domestic abuse, I suppose, we also have. Towards the staff, of course. There's a bomb. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait for the bomb to go off. Uh, okay, we've got all of this being sold. I don't think I, I don't think the alcohol really makes a difference at the start of the day. Maybe they are actually on reasonable cycles. Like the chance of them buying something is probably pretty slim. Sorry, just stretching my back out a little bit. But at the same time, there's probably a higher chance of them buying it later on the day than there is earlier in the day, right? Or maybe it's just because as soon as we open, there's five hours where the NPCs spawn on the map, and they all start walking past. Maybe that's the issue. Yeah, I think so. That's probably it. That's probably it. This guy's getting a lot of oil. Sweet Jesus, my man. <laughs> you ever heard of lube? <laughs> oh. Oh, he's, he's going to have a good time. Oh, apparently it's too expensive. All right, let's actually change this down to maybe 31 buckery booze. We only make nine bucks off of each one of these now. But we should be good. Oh, he also got a bag of coffee. This guy's going for a night out on the town. And a TV dinner. A single TV dinner. What is this guy, a student? <laughs> he just bought so much piss. Oh, he also got some uh, vitamins. That's good, I suppose. How much is this going to cost? 
76 bucks? I'm happy with that. What's that? 40 bucks? Nice. Okay, so we've got some veal here. I'm going to restock the fridge. Good. Done. Okay, let's look at all the things we're out of. We need basmati rice. We need six boxes of that crap. That yucky crap. This stuff right here. 200 bucks? Done. Bought it. The beers are not selling very well. Gotta be said, unfortunately. Uh, eggs not selling very well. La Pipite is selling very, very well. The spaghetti not selling very well. Can we stack that on top of itself? Oh, we can! Okay, we can start getting the, the uh, spaghetti in boxes of... Four, which we have been. Okay, so that works out exactly as we wanted it to. Good. We're pretty low on sauces. Let's check the peanut sauce. We got heaps of peanut sauce. My God, we got a lot of peanut sauce. We're out of the chocolate pick cereal. We get four boxes of that, obviously, because that is a bit of a cash cow. Boop. And sale. Good. I put 15 hours instead of 15 seconds for it to explode. Ah, uh, it's a mistake everybody makes, my dude. I'm I'm sure that everybody has made that mistake at some point. Especially the Unabomber. What else we got? Not a hell of a lot, honestly. So we're basically just earning now, right? Basically just earning a bunch of stuff. Wow, this guy's buying a lot of these Covidos. Excellent. This guy just bought a bottle of vodka and then he turned away all suave, thinking we wouldn't notice, and some salmon. Oh, I bet he's having like a a really, really big night, right? Grabbed a beer, a single beer. Oh, apparently he can't afford the milk. Well, why don't you put the beer back, you ass? <laughs> what the hell? What the hell is America? By the way, I'm pretty sure that this game is American. What are you buying? 34 bucks worth of stuff? The beers actually, they do make a pretty good dent in our profit margin. I do quite like that. Uh, let's flick these lights on right here. Hopefully by the end of today, we will be able to pay off our loan. I don't know if that's actually going to be reasonable, but we do have an enormous loan that we want to get rid of, don't we? Uh, let's start getting rid of some of this coffee. Boop, 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 boop. There you go. And we'll put this coffee back. Boop. There we go. Great. Ah! Unrelating, but is giving up four games for Plant vs. 2 worth it? Uh, I don't know. Like, if you're talking equivalent exchange, I think that you are getting massively ripped off. I don't know what games you're talking about, but uh, with that current exchange, that is, is terrible. You would probably actually want to wait a little bit better until the exchange is more like you get Plants vs. Zombies 2 in exchange for two games or something like that. Yeah, I think Liam's right, right? I think it depends on the games. Like, if they're just those burnout games that you get on Humble Bundle to kind of, like, pad out the deals. Mind Industry, Supreme Duelist Stickman Sandbox, and one I won't mention. Mind Industry is probably significantly better than Plants vs. Zombies 2, I gotta say. In fact, if you get the, uh, yeah, Plants vs. Zombies was one of the free games on PlayStation. So if you've got a PlayStation and you've got the membership, check it out there. It's free. I would probably say that it's a, it's a bad exchange, though. Plants vs. Zombies 2. Unless you already own them. In which case, it's probably a, actually a good exchange. Oh, I think this guy is swapping out the salt, right? No, he's doing beer. Okay, I'll do the salt. Let's grab some of the salt right here. We'll restock the shelf as this guy takes it. I'll throw that that way. Hitting one of our customers in the head and uh, inviting some kind of lawsuit. Good. And come up here as well. Done. We've emptied this box. Nice. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, I'm starting to think that maybe just getting shelves full of the items that we need to sell is probably for the best, right? Oh, there's some kegs here. Ah, no one's buying these kegs. Okay, we'll set this to 30 then. Done. We're only making eight bucks a keg now. That is a bad exchange. Got a couple of kegs down here. We actually, we want to move these kegs here. Um, we're also going to wait until the day ends before we actually end the day. Oh, this guy's just breathing down this poor guy's neck. Can you stop that, sir? Is that an erection? Stop! Cease! I cancel this this transaction. Oh. Oh, you're buying you're buying expensive things. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Stiffen away, sir. Nice. Nice, go to hundred. Yes! Oh, you love to see it. 106 bucks. Enjoy your enjoy your debasement! What a creep. Huh. I'm thinking about it. No, I don't think it was worth it. Yeah. 
You have something that the Romans called caveat emptor, or buyer beware. It's usually the remorse you feel after getting a bad deal in a trade. Okay, good. A lot of stuff around here. We need small sushi. Or do we need big sushi? No, we need the big sushi. We need two boxes of big sushi. And we need them pretty soon. Because I think that's our main cash cow, right? Uh, should we end the day yet? Or should we wait for these guys to restock? Nah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna restock. So, tomorrow we're going to order a bunch of stuff. We'll see if we can actually kind of, like, buy things before we open. Because that would really alleviate most of our issues right now. Let's get two bags of, uh, COVID O's. Down here. Add to cart. Can we buy them? Oh, we can buy them before we open. Oh, that changes literally everything. Wow. God, I wish I knew that earlier. That's really a... That pisses me off a little bit. Actually, okay, let's go ahead, grab this here, would ya? Don't you dare. Okay, good. And we'll fill that out. Great. We've emptied this box right here. Done. Uh, we've got a bunch of covid -os, got a bunch of would ya? TV dinners, we could probably do with two more boxes of TV dinners. The purple ones, where are they? They are probably close to here, right? TV dinners? Yeah, they are. The purple ones. So we need two of these. Damn, that's expensive, actually. Wow. Uh, what else do we need? We need... Do we, can we put this powdered sugar on the rack? No. Oh, well. I'm just going to throw that into the corner there. What about the sauces? We're out of hot sauce. We'll get six hot sauces because we need it. Don't really have a choice in the matter. We just need them. Good, that's 200 bucks down the drain again. What else is there? there uh, we've still got mayonnaise, still got tomato sauce. Dead bees, still got some dead bees. We are running low on peanut sauce. Still got a lot of tea. We need the big sushi. That is actually a bit of a cash cow. So we're not going to screw around too much. We are just going to buy four boxes of this. It's 600 bucks. But what do we do? I also just realized why we're not making any money at the end of the days. It's because of the loan that we've taken out. So we do want to pay that off basically as soon as is humanly possible. Right. Everything else is relatively restocked. We could probably go ahead and open up, right? I'm going to go ahead and start throwing these down. Down into the doorway so these guys don't have to go so far to get the articles to restock them. Good. Drop that there. Throw that there. Throw that over there. Drop that one over that away. Throw that into the doorway. Looks like they're all wising up. None of them are actually coming all the way over here. All right, good. Now let's just jam these into the doorway as well, and that should be done. All right. Are they actually restocking, though? That is the next question. All right, we've got sushi right here. Going to go ahead and jam that right there. Oh, we can actually double stack this. Oh, we knew this. Good. Okay, perfect. I get the sushi. You guys get nothing. What is this? Hot sauce? Perfect. Done. 72 hot sauce. We got it all. Nice! Nice! Okay, what is this? I also have no idea what you're asking for about this whole, like, equivalent exchange thing. What is the context behind getting Plant vs. Zombies 2? Is there actually context behind it, or is it just kind of like, do you think that would be a good trade? Because as far as I'm aware, if you buy a digital game, you don't own that game, so you don't get to trade it. That's that's the issue. Like, back on disc, you could actually trade games, which was a... This got passed it permanently in his hands. All right, father. That's, that's going to be such a weird tangent for people to get. Ah, some people will get it, though. But yeah, like, um... When I was a teenager, right, I used to go to EB Games, which is kind of like New Zealand equivalent of GameStop, and I'd go and buy, like, a bunch of bargain games on disc that were really, really good, but not a lot of people had played them. And then I would take those bargain games and I'd swap them to friends at school in exchange for, like, Call of Duty and stuff like that. So I was taking, like, a $5 game, and then I was exchanging that for potentially sometimes a brand-new release $120 game on disc. So that's kind of how I came into all of my games, because I grew up in a low-income household. I ended up getting a console when I was a teenager, but that's how I kind of, like, swindled my way into getting all the good games and stuff like that. Trade? How do you, how do you trade digital games? Is that actually a thing? I don't know how you would possibly do that. Unless you've just got the keys. Because that's different. 
having the keys for a game is different to actually redeeming the keys. Okay, good. But that's the issue with digital games these days. It's probably the only issue with digital games is that you can't kind of like trade them. You can't really sell them anymore because technically with a digital game, you just don't own it. You're kind of like, you buy the license to use it and that's it. You don't actually own the game whatsoever. The idea of trading discs interests me. I was a, a bit of an artist at kind of like trading discs. I ended up, um, I got an original Xbox and I currently sit here with a copy of the game of the year Morrowind for Xbox, which is currently being sold online pretty frequently for around about 200 bucks per disc. But again, like I'm not going to sell it. I, I just don't want to because I, I would rather have a copy of the game on disc for the novelty of it than getting 200 bucks off of some random on the internet who wasn't around to experience the joy and jank that was that. Oh my God, this guy actually just bought a keg. Okay, so the prices are now doing a lot better. I'm so ready to grind plants versus zombies. That's disgusting. Unless you mean like play it. Because like grinding to millennials is something that you do in a club. All right, good. Excellent. Uh, all of this piss over here is selling out pretty slowly. To be quite honest, I'm not actually terribly thrilled with this. How much is left on the loan? Can we pay it off now? Because if we can pay it off literally right now and we still go into a deficit tonight, we will still be in a very, very good spot. All right. Uh, four grand. Okay. So we just need to make one grand more and then we can pay off that money hole that we have sucking our money from our face. All right. Good. Excellent. Um, I'm going to shoot off, by the way. I'm going to, not right now, but I am going to shoot off when it hits about relatively 5 p.m. New Zealand time. I'm going to go pick up Yin Set because it is uh, borderline flooding out where I live right now. Our, our driveway has a gigantic puddle in it. Like, about this deep kind of puddle, which is not, not good. If, you ever go, if anybody ever goes to, like, southern New Zealand, there is actually a reason people, like, have their houses, like, raised this far above the ground on um, the foundations. It's because it floods frequently. Why would you tell us that? Flooding? Uh, because it affects the schedule for the stream. Yeah, yeah. It floods here frequently. Um, it's been about three days since we've had a flood of that propensity. It's pretty nasty. All right, good. So, we still need to get lots and lots of the small sushis again. But I kind of want to wait a little bit until we can get ourselves that loan paid off. We only need four grand for us, and we're halfway there. From the goal that we had when we were already thinking about it. Damn, that one's going to be expensive. Oh, 107 bucks on mayonnaise. Oh! Sucks to be her. Sucks to be her. Maybe it's not that deep. It, 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 there's a, like a little bit of flooding. Uh, down here in southern New Zealand, our weather is absolutely crazy. Yesterday, it was probably around about 25 degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Um, the sun was out. Everything was warm. And uh, today, everything is pissing down with rain. It's, re it's raining really hard which is why the water is so deep. Uh, the wind is blowing around the neighbor's hedge to the point where it's probably reaching about this far to hit our house. It's just smacking against it repeatedly. Uh, people often call Dunedin the city of four seasons for good reason. For really, really good reason. Our weather here is revolting. I set the building on fire. All right, I got to check. We got to check. We'll be able to see it in this light, right? We'll go back here and we'll, we'll, see it. we'll see the building burning. Hopefully. All right. This one right here. Isn't it? Sorry, I had to burp. What the hell? What the? Hey, can we jump up on top? No, we probably can't actually. What about that? Is there parkour in this game? Oh my god, that was so close. I almost landed on that. Oh well. I'm not seeing any fire. At all. Ah, oh, well. That sucks. That sucks. There's no fire. Our competitor is still around. That's what you get for outsourcing, I suppose. Okay, so in here, there should be a few people still shopping. There actually is. And fortunately, we can also pay off this loan right now. Done. So we don't have to pay anything tonight for this loan. Damn, lady! 
You're getting a lot of spaghetti. Did you know the starch in that? Oh my god. 100 bucks. I think 100 bucks is actually becoming the average shop. Oh my god, that guy is withered. He has seen some stuff. 34, 41, 48, 78, 2 kicks, 108, 112. Nice. These kicks are now becoming a cash cow. Couldn't find chocolate bars? That's because we don't sell them, my dude. They break the world! They break the whole world! Seriously, they actually do break the whole world. And so the fire extinguisher, that would be a that would be the worst place to set a fire. Okay, what's this? That's supposed to be milk. Do we have milk? We do not have any milk. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and just end the day. Because these monkeys are still going to be restocking everything, right? We just don't have to open it right now. Because before we do anything, we can actually go ahead and just start filling out everything in our storeroom here. So if we get ourselves some milk, where's the milk? There it is. Good. A lot of milk right there. Purchase done. We got 470 bucks. What are we going to spend it on? Uh, probably four boxes of bougie flour as well. Right here. 100 bucks. Done. This bougie flour isn't even worth our time to click on anymore. Honestly, it's not making us that much money. Uh, fries are doing fine. Milk's being restocked. We are completely out of tomato sauce. Let's go ahead and restock all of the tomato sauce that we can. 643 bucks. Thank you very much. Yoink. I'll take that. I'll go ahead and I'll open this. Or maybe we actually want these monkeys to... Oh, I thought he was going to go stand outside with a full box again. We'll get the monkeys to move these into the storeroom first as well. Uh, hummus is... We can actually move this hummus there. That's full and we'll get rid of that. We need two bottles of vodka. We need two bottles of Dorkovidos. Vodka. Two of them. 200 bucks. That's expensive. Wow. Okay. I mean, I'll take it, but my God. And two bags of chips. Great. What else we got? So we could probably get another stack of six for something. It's crab cakes. Uh, the sushi, right? The small sushi. We should probably actually get a bunch of different small sushis. Like, uh, I don't know. Four? Four small sushis? Yeah, let's do that. 600 bucks. So now we need a grand. Well, I'm actually just going to open the place now. We'll throw all of these on the ground over here just so that these guys don't have to walk so far to get the resources to put back into the warehouse. Great. Put all of that down there. Put that there. And this one I'll put in myself. I'm not actually going to put the, the box in myself. Like, like, you know, a gross thing. It's somehow working. One quarter done. Okay, that's impressive. That's impressive that you are actually able to light a building on fire with a fire extinguisher. I've never seen that done before. I've seen the opposite done. I've seen a building on fire put out with, an, with a fire extinguisher. And I've seen the concussive blast that is when a uh, fire extinguisher kind of like pops. That's real creepy, actually. It, it kind of like makes you a little bit suspicious that they might just go off at any given moment. All right, good. That's why you have to get them serviced, by the way. It's not so that they are able to put out the fires because the foam inside of a fire extinguisher does not change. They need to be serviced to make sure that the uh, compression inside of the fire extinguisher is good and it doesn't have any cracks or anything because if that explodes in your house, my God, that it's going to make a hell of a mess and it's really dangerous as well. I've seen, like, bits of metal go flying out of a fire extinguisher after it exploded. Good and... It was a video as well. I, I didn't. I wasn't actually there when a fire extinguisher went off. But they can go off in a hot environment, which is why you don't want any cracks in it. Ran out of my fire starter? Ah, oh, you don't need fire starters if you've got fire. Okay. 56 buckery booze. This guy's coming in. What is he going to buy? It's a mystery. It is literally a mystery. Let's see. Okay, we need a grand to get all of the sushi back, because that is just how we make our money, it seems. Also, these... These kegs actually do seem to be doing a huge amount of good for us, too. All right, good. What the hell is that? Oh, that was Salmon. Weird. 86 bucks? Nice. We got 500 bucks. What's this guy buying? Five bucks worth... This guy just bought a beer. Oh, it's because he couldn't find any bottled water, so he just settled for alcohol. Yeah, that's going to help. What an asshole. Hello there, Taylor Swift. What are you buying today? A bunch of cereal? A single pizza? That's nice. Okay. 88 bucks, 102 bucks. Oh, that one's a big one. 131 buckery booze right into our pocket. Love it. Uh, we still need 930 or so bucks. These guys are still restocking everything. Love it. Love it. Okay. 
I'm thinking maybe we should diversify our shelves out a little bit. Maybe we should start double stacking all of these things. Maybe we should take the basmati off of that shelf and we should just move it onto another shelf entirely. I think like this, like how we've got this, like two articles here of the same type and two articles here of the same type. It seems to be really, really good. And obviously we're going to get rid of these kegs. Like this, again, this is really handy. This is really handy. Seems like so much sauce can be stacked on here that it doesn't really matter too much. Good. I'm really happy with this. Okay, let's place down... Uh, no, we actually have another shelf right here. Let's go ahead and start stacking all of the basmati that we can on top of there. Where is it? There it is. We've got seven in here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jam it all on the bottom of this, I think. And then we want to destock this one. And I'm going to go ahead before anyone can snipe it and take the label off. Good. Okay, basmati rice goes here and basmati rice goes there. Excellent. I've emptied that box as well. Done. Done and dusted. So now that we've done that, we want something else to go on top of here. I'm going to go ahead and get the bougie flower. Where's the bougie flower? Bougie flower? There it is. Let's get this sack of three. And we'll put three down here. We'll box all of these up and we'll stack them all on that section of the shelf right there. Get rid of that label. And I'll throw this one in the bin because my monkeys don't want to do it. Okay, le pipites are fine. Oil is fine. We need to get the spaghetti. We need to stock that above as well. Good. Now we can buy like six boxes of everything, right? I think that's the ideal. If we kind of like centralize everything to be bought in lots of six for efficiency, we'll be in a much better spot in terms of storage. So, okay, we've got enough of that sushi as well. Let's go ahead and buy it. And done. We bought the lot. Nice! Three quarters done. I got an ankle monitor. I can't complete the deed. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. I think your issue was getting an ankle monitor. Uh, could we get some kegs? Stockpiled? Maybe. What the hell is going on here? Jenga! I'll take this vudya right here. And we'll start stocking it. Will we? Yeah, we can stock all of this. Good. Done. What else we got? Uh, we got some COVIDs, some COVID chips. Oh, it is kind of like, yeah, okay. So it is now filtering the most empty box to the top of the pile, which is exactly what I wanted months and months and months ago. All right, good. That's good. What else we got? Uh, one more box of Vudya. Great. Whack that there. What else we got? Uh, more COVIDos. Jam that in there. What is this? This is sushi. Love sushi. I absolutely adore sushi. Whoops, that was the wrong one. Wanted to put that there instead. Remove that label. We need small sushis now. We need lots and lots of small sushis. Sushi small, four of them. I'll take it and purchase. Done. We got 20 bucks. That's not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. Okay, I'll put that one there so we get the label. And I'll move all of this down here. Turning the light on as we go. Nice. This goes there. Excellent. And this one goes right next to it. Yeah. Awesome. I have to wait two months. Damn, man. You got let off easy for arson. Arson around. Oh, this one fit. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> We've overinvested in sushi. Uh, I don't want to put that there either. Let's try and put them in the corner over here. So that is further away from the actual place that people should realistically be getting our stock from. There we go. No one should be going in there for the sushi until we're actually out of sushi. Oh, apparently the keg's too expensive. Is it though? Oh, apparently it is. Alright, let's lower it down to 29 buckery booze. Done. We'll make 7 bucks a keg. Anyone buying these ones? No. <laughs> Why would they buy these ones when there's a giant rack right here, right next to the checkout? I suppose this is like a heavy article, right? So carrying it all the way to the checkout from all the way over here would probably be quite taxing on the arms. Gotta be said. Wah. Let's get back into my back exercises. I've been doing them recently because I'm lazy. All right, good. Got the hot sauce. The cereal is too expensive now. Seriously? No, it's not. All right, let's set it to $5.50. That's fine. Maybe everyone's just flat broke now. All right, this lady's getting hot sauce. She can't even reach the top rack. It's not going to stop her, though. Oh, my God, she just got three kegs. Jesus, lady. Oh, I think she's having a party. 
I think she is actually having a party. Well, I don't know why she wanted the flour, though. You don't go to a party and start baking. That's just weird. Oh, yeah, she's definitely having a party, right? Definitely having a party. This guy's probably having a party as well. He just got several bottles of oil, which look like alcohol, and a, a six-pack of beer. Jesus, what a shop. Tomato sauce, two individual bottles of beer, a tomato sauce, a keg because she actually really wanted more than an individual bottle of beer, another keg, and another keg because she wanted more than one individual keg, and a giant bucket of sushi. That is almost 200 bucks she just spent here. Ooh, someone's buying the lepipites. Very nice. Love that. Uh, maybe we should actually stock hummus above here as well. Because only eight of them fit on the shelf. Ah, they don't fly off the shelves, though. I don't really think it's necessary. Okay, so... We'll wait for this guy to check out, because I'm pretty sure he's the last customer. Piss off, sir. Thank you. Now we end the day, and we'll start the next day with the sun risen. All right, we've got 778 buckery booze. What are you holding, buddy? What is that? Sushi! Okay, that's going to fly off the shelves. So we'll just let him hold that. What are we missing? We need to re-up on powdered sugar soon, but not just yet. What else we got? Uh, Lepi potatoes are pretty much out as well. We still have lots and lots of fries. We are out of the spaghetti. Let's go ahead and just get more spaghetti. Because we need to. Four of them? Yes, please. Got all spaghetti and... We're out of mayonnaise. Let's go ahead and get ourselves another six boxes of mayonnaise as well. Where was the mayonnaise? It was down here, right? There it is. Good. 400 bucks. Jesus Christ. I thought eggs are supposed to be cheap. Okay, we got the mayonnaise. Still got a lot of meats. We need a lot of cereal. What do we need? We need dead bees and the yellow cereal that I usually get mixed up with the dead bees. So down here. Here, the, we need this, and we also need... Where are the dead bees at? There they are. Four dead bees. We can just afford this. Okay, we've got $9. Let's open the store so we can make some money. I kind of wanted everybody to... I don't know, maybe... Uh, put these in storage, but... It doesn't really seem like we gave them anywhere narrow enough choice. Okay, I'm just going to throw all of these into the doorway. Seems like they're actually restocking some of the things we must have run out of. Which is pretty awesome. Go ahead, throw that there. Go ahead, throw this one there. Good. Go ahead, throw this one there. Throw this over there. Nice. And throw this one over there. Cash money. And we also want to throw this one all the way over there. Great. I wonder if people wonder why, they're, uh, why their food is all banged up when it arrives. When they actually get home. There's like holes in the corners and stuff like that. You need a gum rack? Oh, we need gum. I don't actually think we can sell gum. So that's probably actually the, the main roadblock into not having a gum rack, right? I know what you're talking about, right? You, you mean these little uh, shelves right here that go right next to the checkouts, right? That, or maybe even here on the way out, you realize, oh, I need to, I needed to buy gum. So they pick one up and then they go all the way to the back of the queue. Would be a great investment. You can't buy them. They actually don't exist in this game, unfortunately. Uh, what else is kind of like sporadically split? Ah, this can definitely go... The kegs are actually disappearing at a pretty alarming rate. We could probably get some Covidos up on the rack now, too. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll even do it myself. The AI, just too dumb. Okay, there you go, AI. Enjoy. And seems like everything else is more or less placed down exactly where we want it to be. This sauce sells really fast, though. Maybe we want to get an individual shelf for each sauce. Or maybe not. Maybe that's actually a stupid-ass idea. Could be the worst idea I've had, actually. By a long shot. Could be the, the worst idea I have potentially had. Okay, so we need to get ourselves... Well, let's check out the other products. I don't think we got everything from the last license. Crab sticks, probably need a bunch of those. Uh, chicken, we're not going to stock that. Cereal, not going to stock that. Veal chop, no. Actually, there's not a hell of a lot that we can stick on the shelves. It is either Great Papyrus, and I would like you to be my friend. Hey there, Papyrus. Okay, so... We've got two more mayonnaise left on the shelves, which is okay, because I don't feel too bad about stocking now. Uh, that is the pasta. We're going to put all of this over here. Don't worry, guys. I will restock all of these shelves, you oafs. You absolute oafs, cavemen, refusing to do anything in a timely manner. All right, they're even walking through here now, and they're not doing anything. Actually, a really good workflow... If developer, again, wants to listen to what I'm saying, a really, really good workflow for the AI would be go restock a shelf on your way out, grab a package, stick it in here, 
and then go and check the shelves again, like so that they're actually rotating, or at least allow us to prioritize what they're doing, so that maybe we could get one of the guys coming in to restock the shelves, and we get another guy full time restocking the restock room. That makes the most sense to me, honestly. So otherwise, you just get an absolute mess, and me, the player, am getting tripped up because the AI is too lazy to do anything. Uh, we need four more packs of the kegs. Four more packs of kegs. That's probably going to cost a lot. We got one, two, three, four, and we'll also get a spear too. Done. Uh, let's buy this. It's almost a grand's worth. Jesus. I'm going to grab this, and we are going to stock this here. I don't think that these double stack. No, they do not. The rack is full. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and place these down myself, because if we're not stocking them, we're not selling them. Uh, we'll put this one right beside this here. Good. So, a dude should be coming out here, grabbing these boxes, and then restocking the kegs. Kegs are actually going pretty fast now. Damn, this guy um reshifted himself to get a couple of kegs. Damn, people are buying kegs like crazy, actually. Kegs are a big cash cow. The desirability on the kegs are insanely high. Oh, the great Papyrus, Sam now said. I'm really sorry to hear that, Papyrus. Maybe it's because um, because of all the uh, the trauma you've endured across your life. Game Theory on Undertale coming soon. Okay, T looks like we could probably get a full box on the rack there. Let's go ahead and do that. Yep, good. So that's one whole rack done. And I'm going to empty the rest of the box there. Done. Uh, we still have more pan here. I keep calling it pan here because that's what it looks like. This We have things in New Zealand called pan heads. It's a, it's a beer. It's a brand of beer, but it's kind of like... It's really weird in craft, and they only come in individual cans. Very, very strange. Let's go ahead and lube my face up. Great. We are making bank. We are actually making bank. Why are our restocking monkeys not restocking this? It's right next to the... Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it myself. Good God. Golly gosh. Okay, I'm going to flick this light on right here. Excellent. Uh, we are wasting a spear slot in here. Maybe we do want to just, like, stock some more hummus. Or maybe we just want to move the the yogurt there. Because it's also a dairy product, as well as butter. Yogurt is basically butter if it were hummus. So maybe we move the hummus up here. And for brevity's sake, we move the, the yogurt into the middle there. Actually, we could do that right now. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that right this second. Okay, uh... No, we can't. Ah, because the hummus is in the way, which is going to be hard to restock. Oh, well. Okay, we need more crab sticks. We need to turn this light on as well. I don't think we've got a loan, so we're probably going to be making an absolute arseload of money at this point. Good. I'm still just inspecting to make sure we're not running low on things. I'm going to go ahead and grab some coffee. There's one bag of coffee in this box. Why the hell do I keep putting that down there? Uh, let's go ahead and... I tried to open the coffee on the way over to the, the rack... To the display, but it's not actually allowing me to do so. I'll grab some more coffee. And now we'll fill this out. Great. Nice. I'll put that there. Good. Okay, we're running pretty low on oils now. We're doing well on the sauces. We're running half low on the ice creams. A lot of stuff here. Kind of consider actually. We've got a we've got a heap of stuff. Like we have so much stuff. We've only got 24 eggs, though, uh, across two boxes. That's not amazing. Although they are both full, I suppose, so. All right, how are the chips looking? Not barren. Okay. Huh. I still like Papyrus' battle music. I think everybody does. I think that's the first song that really catches you off guard in Undertale. To be quite honest, it's Papyrus' battle music. Okay. We've still got a bunch of customers coming in here. What if we bought ourselves another self-checkout? Would that actually... Will that simulate more sales? But this guy's still got the pasta attached to his hand. This is the same guy as well. He just paid with pasta. He couldn't find the pasta. I don't, have you looked in your hand? Okay. He's just phased into the boxes. What a Chad move. What a Sigma ass move that is. To literally just like phase through a bunch of boxes to avoid confrontation with somebody. Oh, here's the government. What's the government buying? A bunch of beer. Okay. And some dead bees. You know they're dead, right? They're dead. They're dead bees. It's only spending 25 bucks. That guy's broke as hell. Kind of reminds me of Tetris music. 
Man, I remember Tetris music and there was no Tetris music. <laughs> it was just blips and bips. That's all Tetris really had going for it. Whoa, this lady's getting a lot of oil. Got a few beers as well so she can soak her crispy chippy cereal in beer, which I find absolutely disgusting now that I think about it, but I'm not going to, I'm going to shame her for it. 108 bucks, don't mind if I do. Very good. Okay, so one guy left just doing his shop over here. He's getting some lappy pitas. We should be out of lappy pitas by now. And if we're not, we could definitely just restock all of these into here, right? Or maybe not. Or maybe. Ah, oh, we're one shy. You know what? I'm actually just going to throw it up. <laughs> I don't care. Guy's still holding uh, full boxes of sushi. This guy's such a twit. Okay, I'm going to throw this in the corner right there. Done. Uh, we need another box of Vudya. Good. Okay, we probably actually just end the day, right? So we can see. So that we're not burning electricity repeatedly. Uh, I kind of want to open the store before customers get here, to be honest. I don't know why. Okay, we've got some oil to be placed over here. I'm going to go ahead and help with the restocking efforts. Uh, what are you holding, my dude? Uh, that is the oil that I was going to grab, Grace. I'm going to try and do these ones. The Okay, I'll go get the green stuff. <laughs> wow. Never mind. That guy got the green stuff. Okay, they're actually all beating me to it. I'm getting jives all over the place here. Okay, good. That should be... No, nope, that's not an empty box. I miscounted. It seems in my head. Uh, the tea should be restocked. Uh, the powdered sugar should still be restocked. Chocolate pick. We're probably out of that by now. Actually, got to be said, we're probably actually out of it. No, we've still got one box left. we still got a bunch of dead bees. Can we get rid of this one dead bees box here? No, we cannot. Okay, well, I'll get my monkeys to put that back on the shelves. I don't really care about it too much. What else we got? Uh, salt is probably actually getting a little bit too low. The beers. We probably need some more of those brown individual beers. Let's get another, like, ten of them, I say. We'll fill out an entire order with them. Okay, we can't get 12. 10 is the max. An artificial imposition uh, created by the developer. I suppose we'll also get 10 of the green bottles as well, even though it's not really as desirable, I don't think. 375 bucks, done. Purchased. Right. So these guys should... We'll also get another 10 packs of salt, now that I am realizing just how low on salt we are. Where is it? It should be right here. Another 10 of these. Great. I've just had a weird little loading icon on my on my cursor. Don't like that. Okay, so that's good. We need four boxes of powdered sugar. Where's the powdered sugar? Probably up, because it's pretty close to start here. Yep, there we go. Done. 60 bucks down the hole. We don't really make a lot on the powdered sugar. Maybe we should just stop selling it. Probably get two more boxes of these chips and two boxes of vodka. Let's go ahead and do that. Two boxes of chips, two boxes of vodka. Great. That seems like a daily thing that we purchase now. What else do we need? We probably don't care too much about the cereal. The oil is looking okay for now. We'll restock it when it's completely empty. Coffee's getting pretty low. But I'm pretty sure that at this point, our monkeys are now actually just ferrying all these individual items back into the um, storage. Okay, that was close. Almost got that one stuck on the roof. Go ahead and throw these into the doorway for now. So that our NPCs don't have to go so far. Grab this one right here. Never mind. They have committed to going super far anyway. I throw that there. I think I just hit the Punisher in the head. It's funny. Not many people actually get away with that. Scott Free, as I just did. He must really like piss off. Okay, we've got this uh, series of boxes over here. And then we can... Basically open the store in good conscience, right? All right, two more. One, and two, and throw that. And now we're open. There we go. We can probably uh, think about another license now as well. Because honestly, we know exactly what is making us money. Why can you toss boxes so far? That's why, baby. Instead of Megalovania, Toby Fox should have called it a bad time. Uh, I don't... Why? Why? <laughs> Why would he have convoluted it? All right, it seems like they've all kind of restocked everything. We've got a lot of beers here. Great. Yeah, no, we are very, very strong. That's why we can huck all of these boxes so far. Why are they just standing there? There's 
this cereal to be stocked. On a bunch of different things. Alright, first customer, what's he buying? He's getting a bunch of ice cream. Jesus, my dude, have you ever heard of diabetes? <laughs> a beer. And 18 uh, trumpets. 18 trumpets. Actually, I understand the appeal. I like the boxes of trumpets myself. I get the boxes of trumpets myself when I go to the supermarket, but not like... I don't ever get more than one box. That is just wrong. Hello there, man. What are you buying? Just some piss right at the start of the day? Great. I think that maybe we should buy the license to get... <laughs> you know, this lady was inside of that guy's ass, and because she has the same colours as the restock monkey, I thought that she was actually a part... Just something hanging out of his ass. That was funny. Okay, got this old lady right here. We probably do want to get the bleach, right? We want to start stocking bleach sporadically across all of this alcohol here. Not that anyone will be able to tell the difference. What are you doing? I don't even think he knows now. Have we already sold a keg? Yes. Boop, there we go. Done. Okay, so we've got a pretty min-maxed supermarket now. We just need to actually start diversifying. And yeah, there are a lot of items that we're not selling, but they break the game. We literally cannot do it. Sounds said if we continue you down this path, you're going to have a bad, t bad time. Yeah, I know. I know, Liam. I, I was there when you said it, uh, believe it or not. But the issue with naming a song after the same level is that all you're doing is really convoluting your story. There, there's this thing in game development where you do have to have a base separation so that gamers can effectively communicate with each other. And if you've got several things that are all called the same thing, then gamers cannot effectively communicate with each other and they don't talk about that as much. You know? You feel me? It's like a, uh, a little bit of psychology. Whoa. This old fella's having a, um, a humdinger of a party. Why is everybody just getting party supplies? They're only getting beers and hummus and... That's it. That's literally it. What did that guy buy? 60 bucks? Nice. What are you doing for a living? Hello there, sir. What are you restocking? The least taken one? That's fine. Oh, look, this guy's getting some uh, some nut sauce, some peanut sauce. It's nice of him. I do like that people are now getting more and more articles. Couldn't find the chocolate bar? Yeah, we don't sell it. It breaks the game. It literally breaks the game. Uh, we need a couple more of the kegs, honestly. The kegs are pretty damn awesome. Actually, no, let's just get them in lots of six. We'll sell all of them out first, and then we'll see what we've got to work with. So we've got a 1.7 thousand buckery booze in our pocket. I want to see what we've got in the old, uh, where are they? Licenses. Management, that's where they are. Okay, so if we go under the licenses, we can kind of see what we can get. If we get to 42, level 42, we're at level 34 right now, so that's probably tens of hours away. We can get more bleach and stuff. So that way too far away we probably want to get ourselves this right because most of this looks to be items although over here these look like they would stack really really well ah uh, it's an old requirement though i think we just wait for the 3.5 thousand dollars actually you know what no i'm gonna go ahead go to the bank skip this through uh we're gonna go for a medium loan maximum term and we're just gonna pay it back later just so we can skip a little bit of time We'll buy this product license, and now we can see exactly what we've just unlocked. We, we can see what we're going to spend our $9.11 on. Yep, oh, easy come, easy go. We just lost $9.11. Uh, okay, powdered sugar. This look like, looks like it stacks really, really well. There's actually a bunch of stuff here. So chips, flour. This is new. This is new right here. Let's get some of these chips right here. Four boxes of it, because I don't know how they stack. And four flowers, because I don't know how they stack. Mashed potatoes. They, I bet they stack well, actually. Okay, that's everything that we can fit. Need another two of these mashed potatoes. Good, and we'll get four peppers. Good. And we'll also get four rices. We've got enough money for this, great. And now we are also selling bread, which sucks ass. Jesus Christ, that is disgusting price. Yuck! Why would we sell this? No, we're not selling that. Okay, we're going to sell this powdered sugar, though. <laughs> Ew! 
It's less than a dollar! And it only stacks in boxes of eight. That is a waste of our time, honestly. We are just not going to be doing that. Yuck. Ah, I wonder if we still have to fight Asgore after Sans? I don't think so. I think the whole uh, point of the genocide route in Undertale is that there's kind of like a mass exodus, which kind of ties into the theory that I am scripting about Asgore kind of lying about the barrier and everything like that. Again, you're going to have to wait for the theory to come out. But essentially, it does all tie in. You don't have to fight Asgore, I don't think. I wouldn't be surprised if you do, but all he'd be doing is buying time for something that he already was going to do. Okay, so this is powdered sugar. Let's actually put, keep like with like. Maybe the Voidya can go somewhere else. Let's do that. Uh, we'll get one of these shelves out because we are expanding. We'll put it over here. Right there. Good. And the Voidya queen. We are going to put all of this on one of these shelves here. Lower shelf, sure, why not? Good. That's done and dusted. And I'm going to start clearing out this shelf. Throw that over in the corner. Get rid of that label. Grab this box. Fill up this last shelf right here. Uh, I'm kind of starting to juggle a little bit. And it is working. And throw that on the ground. Get rid of this label. And we'll keep the powdered sugar with powdered sugar. Okay. Okay, good. Throw that on the ground. How much are we going to charge for this? Seven bucks, I think. Done. Eight bucks, I think. Done. It's a little bit more expensive than usual, but our profit margin is really, really nasty. Uh, also, rice. What the hell is the rice? That's basmati rice, so this rice also goes here. Does it stack on top? No, it does not. It stacks like absolute ass. This was a bad license. Okay, let's get this. Six bucks, sure. Ugh. 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 Yucky. Gross. Okay, we need more of this here powdered sugar, I think. What is this? I have no idea what this is. Oh, well, we sell it anyway, apparently. Uh, we probably need another shelf, like here, because we are running out of places to put them. I feel like if we just have lots and lots of shelves, it'll stimulate people to make better choices. All right, I don't know what this stuff is, but we're going to be stocking it from now on. Uh, in fact, let's put that there. There we go. We've labeled both of these, and we are going to charge six bucks a box for this, which is a crap profit. Jesus, why do we even waste our money on this license? This is a yucky one. This is a big yucky one. Ew. Ew. I don't think we're actually going to buy any of this crap. It's kind of gross. Okay, we got more of this stuff. Going to go ahead and put this in storage, apparently. Put that there. That stacks well. I'm just going to single stack it. Good. I don't know what these are. These are different chips. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and just put some chips here. Why not? And the other half of the box up on top of it, I suppose. And I'm going to put these chips here. They double stack, but it's not going to be easy to actually get them stacked. Okay, I'm going to throw that off in that direction there. We want to price these next. Uh, market price, six bucks. Let's make it seven. Yeah, the profit margin on these items here, absolutely revolting. I don't know if we're actually going to keep any of these articles here. I think we've kind of just wasted our money a little bit. We're currently now diluting the actual stuff that we want to sell with the stuff that just costs next to nothing. Okay, I'm going to put that there, and we want to single stack this right there, I suppose. Good. I'm going to go ahead and fix that up. Done. All right, good. Get rid of that. And rice. I don't think we have any stack for this. Let's go ahead and just stick it there, I suppose. Single stack it. Ten in a box, that's not so bad, honestly. Uh, we've got some bougie flour. Where's the other flour? There it is. Uh, that's right next to spaghetti. Okay, let's just put it here. I don't think we'll stock this flour. The, this stock is, is very... Actually, it's got a good price, so maybe we will stock it instead of this crap. Instead of this bougie... Actually, this is kind of expensive, too. All right. We'll grab one of these, and we'll stick it... I don't know, here's as good a place as any, honestly. Good, and we'll throw out this box right here. What is this? More chips? Okay, I'm just going to throw that there. Let the NPCs take care of it. We've now got some pepper! Great. Okay, so we're probably going to need another shelf, which we already have great right here. This is going to be condiments. Condiments right next to the door. Not to be confused with condoms, which is not something we actually sell, unfortunately. Although I would definitely break into that market if I could. 
Okay, we'll put that there. And let's go ahead and start stockpiling this. Go ahead and find a single place to store this. Maybe right here, instead of this powdered sugar, we'll just get this pepper. Nice. And we want to charge. Wow, this is expensive pepper. Holy hell. 13 bucks. Done. That is a cash cow. Okay, the pepper is a good investment, I think. We're going we're gonna to get lots and lots of this pepper, I think. Oh, I love the pepper. Let's get another 10 of them, actually. Just while it's on the mind. Pepper, right here. Uh, it is kind of expensive, actually. We'll need, like, a grand to get a good stack of that. All right, let's open that up. What have you got, buddy? Powdered sugar? Okay, we should probably maybe move this pepper away from there. Actually, no. Let's move the powdered sugar somewhere else. Put this stuff right up at the top up there. That there. Good. Okay, good. So he's put that there. There should be some more packages coming in here. We got one more basmati. I don't really like the basmati, though. Uh, we're completely out of La Pipite as well. But it's probably going to take us a wee while to sell out of it. Okay. Throw that down there. There you go, guys. Uh, let's throw this flower right there. We can probably actually... I don't really want to stop selling the bougie flower because they both still actually make a bit of a dent. Especially when people buy multiples of it. A new competition appears? Give me your money. <laughs> nice. I think Asgore has absorbed the human souls. Uh, there is literally no evidence of that anywhere whatsoever. In fact, actually, there's evidence of the complete opposite. Which, again, my game theory covers. Asgore doesn't absorb any of the souls. Flowey has them all. Uh, people d seem to be cherry-picking information, again, from the Undertale story that they want to be true, rather than the story that can be proven, right? That's why I started creating the uh, the Undertale theory in the first place. It's because Asgore's just not absorbing souls. It's very clear he had, a, he had a hand in, like, killing the humans in the first place, but he's obviously not where the souls went, otherwise Flowey wouldn't have them. Right, good. So... T is being restocked over here. There's also some yellow oil that needs to go on. We should probably get more of this booze. I don't know where we're stocking it. Where are we stocking that booze? Are we stocking the booze? I hope we are. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these last two oils, which I can't do. I'm just going to throw that back in there then. I uh, probably want to go ahead and put more pepper on the shelf. It might be a good idea. Where do we put the pepper? There it is. The pepper, as I say in German. Go ahead and jam that all right there. Done. Try and stimulate some sales. Okay, 554 bucks in our pocket. We still need another grand to get all of the pepper that we want. We're probably going to spend a long time waiting for it, to be quite fair. There's two more, two more of these peanut sauces. Okay, that's annoying. Let's just leave that there. Good, somebody is refilling all the pepper. I like how they're actually pepper grinders. It's really hard to find pepper grinders here in New Zealand. Well, the souls are a little bit away from the throne room. No, they're not. <laughs> Again, there's no evidence for that whatsoever, but there is direct evidence that contradicts that. What you're seeing is coffins, which can be made to honor the dead. Coffins usually aren't even buried with someone in them, at least where I come from. Usually, usually they're not buried with somebody in them. They're just commemorative. That's, it's, it's kind of weird, actually, now that I think about it, but it's very, very common for people to kind of, like, rent a coffin for a funeral, but still, like, keep cremated remains. It saves a hell of a lot of money, especially over long term, because if you do get a coffin, you have to pay for that plot of land. Your family has to pay for that plot of land for the rest of their lives. So it's, it's not too common that somebody actually does get buried in a casket. Very, very uncommon. It was common uh, way off in history back when land was virtually free to die in, but not anymore. Not anymore. This guy's buying nothing. What's up with the pasta on his hand? What's going on with this? That's so weird. That's so strange. Okay, this lady's buying a bunch of this here powdered sugar, which is actually pretty good. Would Asgore look almost like Asriel after he took all the souls? No. No, he would not. In fact, he would look almost identical to how he would look without taking the souls. And I know this because Flowey has all of the souls, and he looks no different before he had the souls and then after he has the souls. Literally no different. Like, there's a bit of a timeline with, with Flowey, right? Flowey and the whole Kara thing being the first human, 
that all happened, and then all the humans started dying. Um, I think it was intended that Metaton was supposed to be the one that killed all of the humans, but Metaton was repurposed as kind of like a vanity bot for a ghost at some point after the whole Gaster incident. So, you know, there was the intent of harvesting humans, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that they meant well, but ultimately I don't really believe that that was actually the events of the game. I don't think that Asgore absorbed a, a single human soul. Um, not even Kara's soul is even found anywhere either. All right, good. Nice. Uh, we need to get some of the La Pipites, and we also need to set this order right here that we just set for the Pepper. Right. Let's get ourselves some La Pipites. I've unfortunately become a little bit of an expert on Undertale, and it kind of it hurts to say... The only reason that I'm an expert on Undertale is not because the game was just so goddamn good either. It's because I had to go and research Toby Fox and everything about him to get all of the music um, declaimed. Lots of copyright claims uh, hit my hit my channel as soon as I uploaded all of my Undertale stuff. And unfortunately, the issue with this was that I couldn't monetize any of those videos and now that i'm actually monetized every view that goes towards those videos that i make is a complete waste of time even more so since toby fox himself has said several times that he wants his music to essentially be creative commons right if if you have undertale music in something you're welcome to use it um just give attribution which i constantly did but his uh content id management company materia music they screwed me over real bad they not only um, copyright claimed every single song on my two hour videos, but they rejected my disputes as well. So, um, they're kind of going off leash and doing exactly the opposite of what Toby Fox wanted to do. So that's why I know so much about Undertale, unfortunately. I know who Metaton is and where the mystery key goes. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't at this point? <laughs> you play the game for 10 hours, you know exactly all of those answers. All right, good. So, what else are we looking at? We could probably stock this little blank area here with hummus, honestly. It it wouldn't make too much of a difference. Or yogurt. Or just anything else. Because if it's not displayed, it's not being sold. I don't think we just got a license for anything else. Oh, uh, we did not set the flower, did we? To uh, be on this top rack either. Where the hell do we stick it? Hummus down there. There it is. Okay, so we want to set this to also be this bougie flower right here. Done. That right there is infrastructure, and this right here is a mess. I'm going to throw all of these over that away so that my monkeys can go ahead and throw it into the regions that they're supposed to fit in. Good. I'm kind of smart, actually, in the sense that I took all of these tiny little boxes and I set their uh, little stacks to be right next to the door. So my monkeys don't actually have to go too far to, to set these into storage. Good, throw that there, throw that there. And one more with the lepipidus goes right there done we actually just keep on filling out the la pipites in here whoops that's pepper that goes there la pipites goes right here i don't know if we're still making sales probably because our monkeys seem to be restocking everything good excellent ah. where do you think elfies is enduring the genocide run oh it's actually stated in game that she has kind of rallied everybody and um she, she's taken them out of the city, which just reinforces my claim that Asgore was lying about the barrier. Literally as simple as that. Like, all of the in, all of the game evidence for the story of the game is in the game. You don't need to look very hard for it. You just need to actually read the prompts that you get in the game and understand. That is the only way that you get the story. And for some reason, me reading the entirety of the game, me poking around in the game files just a little bit, and then not looking up a single YouTube video breaking down the lore of it, has given me a completely different story to what the general consensus is of uh, the rest of the world. That is so weird to me. It is so weird that there's been a decade's worth of misinformation about this game. And every single thing people come over to me and tell me is just flat out wrong. Just really easy to prove wrong. I read all of them twice and and what up i can't read that word sorry okay so if you read all of them twice you would know that obviously Alphys has taken all of the citizens of new city and uh they've kind of led an exodus out of the city to get away from you as the human because that's not only stated once it's stated three times across um just the genocide run alone all right these guys are restocking everything like it's so weird it, it still blows my mind. It's been a month and a half 
Since I found out the entire community is basically just parroting a bunch of uh, clickbait from YouTube, and everyone is still, people are still coming onto my channel and asking my opinions about things that are literally cited in game as canon events that happened. Like, you just read it. it. You just read all of the dialogue and you kind of put the pieces together. It's, it's, it's really not hard. What it does seem to be hard is finishing the game and then being all like, you know what? Yeah, there was a story there. It, it seems to be that people just want so much more of the Undertale story that they're willing to go out and look for story that just isn't there to the extent where they have created this entire alternate universe away from the events of the actual game. It's so weird. I read them all twice and gave up. Wait, what did you give up on? What, what did you give up on? Because it's not that, it's really not that hard. All of the information given to you is either opinions or absolute, right? So when I see things like, uh, you know, these are the events of the Great War, right at the start of the game. When you see signs posted around the place, I immediately suspect that that is complete cap. I don't think that any of that is true simply because the world is run by monarchs and monarchs lie to their subjects. That's as simple as that. And it seems like Asgore has lied to all of his subjects as well about what the barrier is, how to break it, with all of this crap with the human souls as well. Wouldn't monsters that can go out the same way every human comes in? Rephrase that? Wouldn't monsters that can... Oh, go out the same way every human comes in. Yeah, so the barrier is to keep the monsters in to protect them from the... Um, to, from the humans who are on the other side of the barrier, right? They already had the war. I, I think it's pretty clear that the war did actually happen because uh, everybody cites it, everybody talks about it, and there are people that talk about remembering what it was like to actually be fighting in that war. But what I am seeing is essentially... Oh, it's hard to explain, actually. Uh, there's a barrier, right? A magical barrier. It's stated many times in the game. Monsters can do magic. Humans have souls. Thus, humans can't do magic, aside from the one instance in the intro scene, which appears to be propaganda, right? It, 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 so all of that appears to be propaganda from my perspective. Because it's not even us. We're not even in that cutscene. Uh, that, uh, that's a completely different character. You can tell by the stripes on the shirt and everything like that. And the fact that nobody has any faces or anything like that. It just seems like a secondhand story given to um, a child. And we aren't even that child. So I think that Asgore retreated into the cave with all the monsters. Asgore put the barrier up because he is a fairly powerful creature. And then he just lied to everybody about how to disband it so that nobody came after him for locking them in a, in a, in a dingy cave for the rest of eternity. Which is why you have to literally convince him to allow you to open the barrier. Like, how would he have any power over that if he was actually trying to open it? If he was standing there saying, no, I don't want to open the barrier, which is dialogue that you get, what, what is the point? What, why would he stand there and have this massive dichotomy of personality? Because all you've had across the game is that he's a ruthless king and he uh, protects everybody, right? And that he's trying to break the barrier. That's, that's all you hear from him. Then you actually meet him and he's all like, I don't actually want to break the barrier whatsoever. I don't want to kill humans. I don't do any of this stuff. And it's because he hasn't been. He actually hasn't been. He even went so far as to execute humans with a robot, but that never even um, went through either. Okay, we are making Mad Bank now, by the way. Uh, we can actually pay off that loan, I think, that we got a couple of days ago. So let's go ahead and do that. But it's so weird, the inability of everybody that keeps coming onto my channel to ask me my opinions of Undertale, it's so weird that so many of them do not read the base dialogue in the base game. It's very clear that they have never played the game for themselves. Like, super obvious. And it's been a decade. So that surprises me. I thought I was literally the only person who hasn't played it. Maybe Asgore gets the human souls to revive Asriel? Why? Asriel is already revived by the time the second human dies. There's another hole. Yeah, wouldn't monsters fly out the same way every human came in? So yeah, that's the barrier. The barrier is stopping um, everything without a, a, a soul, essentially, from, from going back out into the world, because they're just going to be killed. It's a, it's a cautionary tale of xenophobia. Simple as that. Okay, don't want to go into the market. Want to go into the management screen. And we want to... No, we don't. Yeah, we do. Wait, where's the bank? Ah, it's separate. Okay, we're going to the bank right here. We're going to pay this off early. 
Done. So now we are making pure profit. How is our sushi looking? Actually looking really good. Coffee's not looking so flash. Uh, let's go ahead and start stocking this. Or not, somebody's already done it. I'm going to throw that on the ground because I'm a heathen. Good. Okay, we are making quite a bit of money. The store is getting a little bit ugly, though. Got to be said. I'll have to go to bed soon. That's absolutely fine, my dude. You can do whatever you please. Sorry if I sound, like, super aggressive about the whole thing, but uh, there are so many people who find out, oh, this guy played Undertale for the first time just recently. Let's go grill him and see if he knows all of the pre-established headcanon lore that that the, the fans have been creating over the last 11 years. And every single time they, they quiz me on this stuff, all I can think of is, but that's provably wrong. That's not actually what, what happens whatsoever. And all you have to do is play the game to find that out. It's really that simple. Like I've heard so many theories that are just so easy to debunk. And then when I hear about these theories, I immediately go onto the internet and I see whether or not somebody has like made a video on it. And every single time, there is a video with lots and lots of views that says exactly this whole thing, right? And I refuse to watch it because it will taint my view on the story that I gathered from playing the game for myself. Because I am, in fact, a critical thinker. And I do not just follow every wanker who um, has a nice camera on YouTube, essentially, like me. Is Deltarune a good game to buy? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Deltarune is so much better than Undertale in just about every single conceivable way. The story is more fleshed out. Um... It's, hit, it's more hidden. It's not as absolute. Uh, the combat functions, the chapters are crazy long, and there are multiple endings for each chapter already. Um, when it's paid, because it's free right now, the first two chapters are free, uh, the chapter three and four, which apparently are going to be released alongside each other, I don't understand why. I don't understand why they won't release chapter three and then four, unless it's to write story that they don't want to retcon and then accidentally just launch it early. Um, essentially, it is it is a really good game to buy. Um, all of the combat's very innovative. It is a very fresh take over the whole Undertale gameplay. And on top of that, it's only a quarter done right now. All the free stuff is done. It's done. So you've actually got a game as big as Undertale that is done. It's finished. The rest of it, there's going to be another three quarters of the game that comes out over time. If you've bought the game, you'll get those chapters sequentially. But, like, in terms of value, you... Oh, my God. There are... You can't find a better value game, right? Because that's going to be a game that people sink potentially thousands of hours into. And if you're only paying 20 bucks for that, the cost per hour is cents. It's, it's literally cents, if not a cent. All right. So, we got two grand. What are we after? We actually need about six packs of those kegs. So I'm going to go ahead and try and snipe them before we end for the day. Where the hell are they? There they are. Six. And right before the bell. There we go. Done. That is a lot of beer. Okay, let's start stocking this. Oh, look, no one can see it. That's funny. Uh, where's the light switch? There it is. Boop. Good. And we'll start doing this. Yeah, no, the, um, the game is fantastic. It's just like... <laughs> Because the game is so good, so many people have tried to profit off of Toby Fox's genius. And they do this by making these YouTube videos, which just spread basically a bunch of bollocks and misinformation about the story of the games. And Toby, obviously, um, it's free advertising, so he doesn't want to touch that with a 10-foot pole. He just kind of lets it happen. But he has not really confirmed any plot points. It's been 10 years since the game came out. He's not confirmed any plot points because he doesn't want to. And he likely disagrees with them. But he probably also likes that the community um, have their own kind of, like, things to talk about amongst each other. And it does stimulate more sales, which is uh, pretty cool as well. So, you know, just staying silent on the matter is probably the best option. I, I would probably say he's actually doing the best thing possible. All right, we've still got a bunch of people here. What are you buying? 89. Don't know what that was. But we made bank. Damn, that is a big bottle of vodka. That's as big as my arm. That's as big as my... That's a bottle of vodka as big as my forearm. That's insane. Did you know Undertale Genocide is emotionally scarring? Uh, no, I didn't. I did it myself and I, I just thought, hey, this is fun. I, I like being able to influence the game world that I, that I take place in. That's what I really liked about it. I wasn't scarred whatsoever and I don't think any of my viewers were either. I mean, again, it's a game that came out 10 years ago, so... <laughs> It's, it's hard to find people who haven't played it yet. I just bury my head in the sand as much as I possibly can with games like that. 
Okay, we're immediately going to open. We need more Basmati rice. Probably another six boxes of it. Let's go ahead and just get six more boxes of Basmati. Where are you, buddy? There you are. Add to cart. Done. That's 200 bucks gone. Easy clap. What else we got? Bougie flour. We need four boxes of that crap. Nice. Let's go ahead and buy that. Done. And eggs. We're going to need 12 cartons of eggs because it is a bit of a cash cow, I suppose you could call it. One and two. Excellent. Okay. Powdered sugar. I'm probably going to ignore that for now. Bougie flowers coming along nicely. Fries are pretty damn low. We could probably do with getting six boxes of fries. Where are they? Right there. Six boxes, please. Good. And what else? Milk is looking okay, I suppose. We're probably going to stop. We're going to discontinue this crap. Uh, the sources are fine still. I think we need dead bees. I think we need more boxes of dead bees. Let's try and find some dead bees. There's crispy chibi. There we go. Dead bees. Four boxes of it. Done. What else do we need? Any more cereals? Yes, sir. We need another three boxes of... Actually, we can probably just use these, right? Yep, there we go. There you go, guys. An empty box for you. And this one as well. Only has two in it. Go ahead and try and jam this one on the shelves as well. One, two. Done. These guys suck at their jobs. Oh, my God. So now we need four boxes of both cereals. God, if only they'd done their job earlier, I wouldn't have had to have done all of that to get to the point where we know we need this. Sounds is emotionally scarring. After you die a lot, you start realizing what you die by and getting less angry. I've never felt angry when fighting Sans. I've got I've got very, very high attrition levels. And I never will. I'm I'm I will not let a video game get me angry unless it's like a huge time sink or something like that that just like crashes and erases my save file or something like that. Like I'm not the kind of guy that just rages at games. I'll do it on YouTube for the bit, but I'm I'm, I'm just not that kind of guy. I I won't look at a game as as if it's as important as real life. There's there's no reason to get angry at a video game. It's just stress. It's literally just artificial stress. You can just let go of that anger. You don't you don't need to get angry at a video game. And it's really easy to do as well. It's just, um, it's as simple as take your hands off of there, distance yourself, disassociate for like three seconds, and it's done. Right? We might need a rage video. You're not going to get one on this channel. That's, this is the wrong channel for that. <laughs> no, what you're going to get here is a stupid shotgun ape who lifts weights. Um, a good looking one, I might add. Pretty good looking. Pretty good, pretty good shotgun ape. Um, you're going to find him being relatively intelligent with psychoanalysis on video games, as well as taking all of the bad choice options as much as they possibly can. That's what this channel is basically centered around. It's not exactly a niche per se, but it's, uh, it's as close to a niche as I've found and I found success in it. It seems like there's no kind of like balanced approach to YouTube anymore these days. It's like people seem to really want to make their channels centered around one exclusive thing. And that would drive me absolutely insane. If I had to do one thing, like, I'm committed to being a content creator. If I had to do one thing for the rest of what I would consider to be my content creation career, which could be potentially two decades, there's no way in hell I'm going to be doing the same thing over and over again. Mom, where did you shop at Piss Off? <laughs> Piss Off has better deals. It's got better deals. You know, we, uh, we dropped our prices by, like, a couple of cents a few months ago. <laughs> Good. I'm throwing all of these over here. I don't know if our little monkeys are actually capable of understanding that these shouldn't be blocking the doorway, but... Okay, this guy actually just blocked me from throwing. He was like, hold up, boss. Don't... Not yet. Oh, my God. Piss off. <laughs> Go away! Excellent. Okay, we'll come down here and finish off throwing these boxes of cereal into the hole. And we've already got 14 grand. Jesus, what a mess. All right, let's ignore that. Oh, we're out of peanut butter. Wow, that's a first. Are we actually? Are we actually out? Oh, we are actually out of the peanut sauce. Okay, let's go ahead and get ourselves 12 more units of peanut butter. It's right here. Done. One and two makes 12. Great, because of the artificial cap that the game has put on being able to uh, buy things and lots of. Uh, let's get rid of this here, Vudya. 
good. And now we'll restock with... Okay, I can't go that way. I, I, it's literally bro blocking the way. Uh, so, we want four boxes of it, right? Four boxes of Vodya, I think. Where is it? Where are you? Do we go past it? Or am I just blind? There it is. Okay. Four boxes, please. Good. And how's everything else looking? Hummus is getting pretty low. Kegs are not selling as well as I'd like them to. Uh, the new flower can be restocked as well. I think we need four lots of it. I'm going to get four lots of it. Don't stop me. Okay, we are pretty low on Pripyat uh, microwave meals. Oh, we are completely out of crab sticks. We need four boxes of crab sticks. Okay, let's go ahead and get some crab sticks. Two, three, four. That's 475 bucks down the hole. Oh my god, crab sticks are really expensive. Excellent. Uh, what else? What else are we empty on? We are completely empty on... You know, but we're completely empty on coffee. So let's get 12 coffees as well. Where's the coffee? Probably up further, right? Way up further. There it is. All right, six. Good. And now, because we're double stacking the storage, we want another six of them. Good. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the lights on before we completely block ourselves out of the doorway. It should be good. Oh my god, what a mess. <laughs> oh, if you had to be an Undertale, which route would you take? Uh, probably not neutral. <laughs> sure as hell, not neutral. I'd probably honestly take pacifist. I've got a lot of martial arts, and if there's anything martial arts has really taught me, um, sometimes the best way out of a situation is just not to punch somebody in the face. Usually I can defuse a situation with a, with a golden tongue, right? But unfortunately, if you punch someone in the face, you lock yourself out of that option. However, if, you know, words don't work, you have not blocked yourself out, out of the option of punching somebody in the face. That is, that is always going to be an option. You can still do that. You can still punch someone in the face. Okay, good. I will probably wait for everybody to stop purchasing items. And then we will kind of get all of our monkeys to start restocking the back rooms. Would be the best idea. Probably tomorrow so we can see what the hell they're doing. Maybe we can make like a time lapse of them kind of like getting all of their things out of the doorway. Good. Get this one next and this one as well. Great. One more. Done. All right. Uh, don't have many other people shopping in here, I don't think. We've got this lady. I think that's it. I think we only have two ladies here. Yeah, we only have two ladies in here shopping. Beautiful. Okay, let's let's look at this from a distance. Maybe we could actually do like a time lapse of this or something. You know, I think if I was in the Undertale universe, I'd probably be in a worse state, to be quite honest. Simply because that would confirm monsters exist and... Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I don't really want monsters to exist necessarily. All right. Everybody is actually restocking everything. That's quite nice. Let's go ahead and uh, start the next day. Good. Got a roundabout. Uh, whoa, we just broke even on money. That's strange. Never seen that before. I'll go and do the golden oils. We're out of oil, actually. Okay. Go ahead, and we can't actually afford to get any more oil. Okay, this guy's restocking the La Pepites with a half full box. What about this guy? Is that a whole stack? No. Ugh. It never is, is it? It's never a whole stack. Uh, I'm going to take some of these kegs and restock here. One, two, three. One. Yep, okay, good. Got two left. Beautiful. What else we got? This guy's restocking the yogurt. Love to see it, love to see it. That's doing the powdered sugar. Nice. I refuse to actually lift a finger myself. I just refuse to do so. All right, you guys cleaning up yet? Nope. All right. How are the peppers looking? Peppers are actually selling really, really well. Is that a full box? Yep. Excellent. Nice. I'm going to go and restock the la peppers because it seems like no one else will restock them fully. Okay. Let's jam all of these on here. Beautiful. And over here. Good. Jam that there. Really low on the microwave TV dinners, which we probably could discontinue. But there's a lot of them in a box, so it does kind of bulk out the orders quite well. Where are we keeping this? What is this even called? I don't think we've got any spots for it. Oh, they're cleaning up. They're cleaning up. Look. 
They're doing it! Finally! Good grief! This is kind of satisfying to watch, actually. Why are they going outside? Why are they getting the outside boxes? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. All right, there's some eggs going on the rack right there. This game needs security cameras. This game literally just needs security cameras so that you can kind of, like, watch the game run. Because this is kind of cool, honestly. I, I do really like this. Okay, ultimately, I feel like this has been actually a, a really fun game. You get your paycheck this week? Uh, was that actually for me? Okay. Because these guys get paid daily. These guys literally get paid daily, and we are almost bankrupt. We just kind of restocked the entire warehouse, unfortunately. It is nice to watch them clean it up, though. Maybe I should do a video of just time-lapsing all of the, um... All the heinous messes in this game. I should, I should get these guys to just clean it up. I could do that. I could save up every empty box and just tell them to stop working. I can manage the supermarket all on my own. I don't know where the hell that guy's going. The work's not done, my dude. Yeah, like, it's been a fun game. We'll come back to it when there's been a patch or something. Because it is still technically in early access. It's not like a full game yet. It's still kind of like very, very bare bones. And I, they do have the bare minimum required to run a game in here. But unfortunately, not much more than that. It's very, very bare bones. And it's very rudimentary. I feel like there's going to be a company that maybe picks up the whole Supermarket Simulator vibe. And then does it not only better, but faster. That's probably actually going to be what happens with this game, honestly. So I'll keep an eye on it, but there's probably going to be something better that comes out because this game was such a commercial success, believe it or not, already. This game has already sold a lot of copies. In fact, I've got friends who own this game who don't even like simulator games. Go away, rejoins the battle. No idea what you're talking about, my dude. But yeah, some of the bugs are massively glaring. Like getting all of those NPCs just stuck everywhere is just an absolute pain in the ass. All right, let's go open this door. I'm pretty sure that's everything. It's just such a pain in the ass because there's nothing you can do about it and you lose all of those items as well. There's literally not a single thing you can do about it. Uh, okay, so we need oils. We are completely out of olive oils. We're completely out of the small, su no, big sushis. And that's pretty much where we're being left with. I also don't know what these beers are called, but they sell pretty well. Or do they? Or do they? Actually, you could probably just sell them 15 so people buy more of them. I don't think they do. I don't think we've actually bought any more of these than just the ones that filled up the shelves. I don't even think we're storing them. At all. Okay. All right. So in here, the freezer is fine. Great. All of the stock is fine. Oh, go away has been your competitor. Right. Okay. Unfortunately, go away is not really impacting our sales whatsoever. These people are still kind of like buying exactly, you know, the things that they ordinarily would have bought if they were in the area in the first place. Oh, look, someone's decided to work for a living. Gonna join the uh, the big boys at the big boy table, are you, buddy? Yeah? You gonna restock that shelf? Earn some wages? Good man, good man. Good man, employee of the month right here. Okay, do not bring that in. Okay, fine. <laughs> What's this guy refueling? Wow, someone just bought a lot of beer. Was it her? Oh, it was. Look at this lady. Damn, she bought a lot of stuff. 47. 52, 57, eggs are bringing that up as well, 69, nice, 78 buckery burgers, what about this lady, 51 bucks, that's not very good, I hate that, whoa, my god, I'm gonna be stalking this lady, she just bought like four kegs, hello there lady, you are, you having some issues, You're getting some milk as well, are you, good, 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 you know, it's not actually all that much uh, protein in that, more protein than water, but, Still not a hell of a lot. They made five ads. That's okay. We don't make ads. That's how we're thriving and they got burned down. Damn, this girl is actually buying a lot of stuff. Okay, she's microaggressing this weirdly large man here. Let's see what she actually bought. Because I'm pretty sure this lady's going to have spent a heap of money. Alright, 16 bucks, 20 bucks already, 34 bucks, 37 bucks, 
40 bucks, 54 bucks, 66 bucks, 78 bucks, 107 bucks, 119 bucks, 125 bucks, 131 bucks, 160 bucks, 166 bucks, 195 bucks, 210 bucks, 225 bucks. Wow, that is a hell of a sale. That was a quarter of our total income for the day. Good grief. Oh, we're running really, really low on these uh, powdered sugars too. Maybe we want to double stack these. I got to go all the one down. They burnt down twice? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think if we just play it slow and steady, we won't burn down like they did. Okay, we'll get some of these powdered sugars to restock our stockpile with. What is this? I have no idea. It just looks like it says puree. Mashed potatoes. They are actually mashed potatoes. It's a puree. Okay, I get it now. It's, it, it's, a, it's a potato puree. Gotcha. What is this? Uh, we probably need three more bags of these random chips down at the bottom here. These ones here. 200 bucks down the hole. Don't mind if I do. Great. All right, now that we got that out of the way, we are pretty low on sources. We need the oils, don't we? We need 12 of each different oil. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Oil, a six. No, we need two lots of that, which makes 12. Done. And now we need the green olive oil right here. It's going to be quite expensive, unfortunately, but we can pay for it thanks to that lady. We spent 225 bucks on our crap. Okay, good. They should be restocking everything now. Yep, here they go. Ah, uh, you'll have to see it. Awesome. Uh, that guy just used an entire box right off rip. What is this? This is the yellow stuff. I'm going to start just tossing this down here. I'm pretty sure someone already took a green box into the supermarket. So we'll have both of those shells completely restocked and we should be good. I'm about to make it thrice. Yeah, you burn them down. You burn them down, Liam. You can be my, you can be my attack dog. If we ever get competition, I'm going to set you on them. You can, like, bark at them and snarl and get saliva everywhere. Make them really uncomfortable. Then I'll come in and I'll be all like, so, will you take 100 bucks for the building? You wouldn't want something to, uh, to happen to it. We could create kind of like a mafia. How does that sound? With your absolute ravenous personality. Snarling and gnashing your teeth at people. Just making them really uncomfortable in social situations. And I'll, like, run a... I'll run the business... <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs> what a weird deal. The weirdest mafia ever known to man. Okay, good. I'll call it the Drool Mafia on account of all the saliva being thrown around. Good, so we've done a little bit more storage maintenance. Great. We are actually one entire box down. Uh, where are we sticking these? Probably over there somewhere. Uh, where's the green oil? There's one. Put that over there, I suppose. This one. I'm going to restock this entire shelf right here, and hopefully no one else is going to interrupt me with a single bottle. No, they did not. Good. Don't know what kind of thing that guy was holding, but it most certainly was not the bottles of olive oil that I needed. Okay. We are kind of like making a consistent income at this point. Uh, do we have any loans? Probably not at this point, right? But we aren't really making a huge amount of money. No, we have no loans out here. What about payments? Oh. We do actually have some uh, some bills to pay. All right, here we go. Done. We have settled all of our debts. Good. We'll turn that light on so we can see. We only have an hour and a half of opening time, and you know what that means? It's midday. Because people still pile in here. Right at 9 o'clock, anyone. It's actually bad. <laughs> what, just like flying out of your mouth if you, as, as, you, as you snap and snarl at people? It's just piss. <laughs> oh. Gross. I don't I don't know how you do it, my dude, but you are a wizard. You put the whiz in, wizard. Uh, we probably need more powdered sugar. That's bougie flour. Maybe we're not stocking powdered sugar anymore. Yeah, I don't think we are, actually. Maybe we just want to sell pepper at the store. Like, exclusively pepper. This can be a pepper store. Because that is a huge markup. Honestly, that is enormous. Okay, what are you buying, buddy? 30 bucks? That's nothing. Get it up there. Get that score higher. Get that number. Get that number up there. 83 bucks. Yeah, that's a little bit better. What about you, buddy? What are you buying? You're getting four boxes of dead bees? That's weird. What do you need all those dead bees for, sir? 75 bucks? I'll take it. What are you getting, lady? A couple of kegs? Nice. Small shop, huh? Just a keg of beer. All right, a couple of crab cakes as well. What 
up crab cakes? I've never had a crab cake in my life. I didn't even think they were actually a food. I thought they were kind of like a skyhook or a, a spirit level bubble. Or something like that. Oh, we're completely out of these pizzas. Ah, that's good to know. Well, it's nine o'clock, so we can't do anything about it, unfortunately. This lady is buying some chippos. Chips mole. I don't know what the hell that means. I could probably make these. Right, it, 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 I wonder how hard it would be to, like, sell a bunch of different assets where I just change the textures on the models. That would be so easy to do. I'd do it. I'd do it. I score it to beat is 200 bucks. Now it's 225. That was the high score so far. So far. Okay, we're not stocking powdered sugar anymore. It kind of sucks, actually. We don't want to sell it anymore. Uh, we want the pizza. We don't want crusty pizza. We want the other one. Where is the other one? Pizza, please. Uh, it's way lower than that, I remember. So, down here. So, De Niro pizza. Pretty sure this is the one. Yeah, this is not the one we want. So, we want the De Niro stuff right here. Add to cart. Done. Oh, can't buy it just yet. Let's go ahead and end the day so we can actually buy this. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Okay. Kind of want our dudes to go ahead and stock all of that in, into the shelves as well. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me that there's like a cutoff time to buying things. Because all you do is hit end to start the next day and then you can buy things. It's literally as simple as that. I don't think it can get any more simpler. Okay, good. It's all out of the way. We probably want one of those boxes of pizza so that we could kind of like store it. All right, good. Done and dusted. Next is 300 bucks. It's going to be a wee while before we find anybody willing to spend 300 bucks. Maybe we could like stop stocking all of the crap that we don't actually want to sell. And then we could potentially get ourselves uh, a, a non-diluted income. Because at the moment, we're selling so much extra stuff that the actual income we're getting is diluted by all the crap. Uh, do we have anywhere to put those COVID chips? No, we don't. Unfortunately. Okay, hummus is completely empty as well. Let's get four hummuses. Hummus. There it is. Let's get four of them. Done. We've got vodka. Yes, we've got lots of vodka. Uh, we don't have kegs. Do we need kegs? Not really. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's a box and a half. Okay, we'll get three boxes. How does that sound? Three boxes of kegs. Kind of weird to say that the boxes come in... So it's kind of weird to say that the kegs come in boxes, though. All right, got that. This beer blonde aisle. I don't think we've actually got anywhere to put this. Maybe we'll just get two boxes and make sure we've got some storage for it. Because I don't think we actually do. Excellent. Everybody's moving everything in. That is the kegs. Don't care about it. What's this? Hummus. Don't care. This. Right. Okay. So, let's go ahead and try and find somewhere to put this. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put this one here. I'm going to put this one here. And I'm going to put this one here. There we go. Okay. We'll keep like with like. We'll get these boxes of beers. There's a lot of them in a box as well. We'll keep them real close to where we need them. Uh, throw that one down there. Throw that one down there so they can restock it. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the open sign. Nice. So we've got another box of keg right here. Beautiful. Six kegs in a box is actually pretty reasonable. Throw that down there. Good luck, monkeys. Okay, we're open. We are open for business. We made Papyrus go down six feet into the ground. <laughs> This is just a bonding session. Uh, no. I'd say it's, it's probably just like hanging out on a couch playing a video game, right? There's not really a lot of bonding here. Like, it's a, it's a pretty strange relationship between streamer and streamee. Simply because I don't even know what your face looks like. I don't I don't even know how tall you are. It's, it's weird. It's really strange. But, you know, I don't really get to leave home much. And all of the people that I like these days tend to be on the internet. So, I'm always on the internet. This is weird, isn't it? They all look exactly the same. When they're just kind of standing around doing nothing, it's super strange. Fear? Okay, good. I don't know, like, I don't want to set any unreasonable expectations for any viewers or anything like that. Like, at the, at the end of the day, I do, like, have a community that I manage. So I can't really give custom-tailored love to every single person that comes onto the streams. It's not really something that's realistic to, to be able to get from a streamer. That's usually something that you you got to find from friends and family. Triplets? They are triplets. They are triplets, and they're sweaty, and they're weird, and I don't really... Oh, 
Hello, this sir. I don't really know if I like how they look. I can't even tell what color they are, to be quite honest. Okay, I'm going to take another screenshot. As soon as that person stops complaining, never mind. That guy left. Oh, well. I got pretty close. Uh, right, we are out of the sushi. We're pretty low on the TV dinners by Pripyat, which is the, the location of a nuclear meltdown. God, these guys are restocking everything. We've got 300 bucks. We are not actually making as many sales as I would like. But it's too expensive. I highly doubt that it's actually the thing that is costing us money. I wonder what the hell it is. Because we're kind of capped with our level. We can't actually get any better licenses for another seven, no, nine levels. So I don't know what the hell we would actually do any better to kind of optimize what we've got. I'm pretty sure we've just had a wall, so to speak. Like, we're making consistent profit where we haven't really been making consistent profit. Oh, great. This guy's buying the last of our powdered sugar. We don't actually want to sell that because it is diluting our profits. Let's just get rid of those labels. Done. Excellent. 42 bucks? Sure. What are you spending? 86 bucks? 99 bucks? Wow. 128 bucks? 145 bucks? 162 bucks? Pretty good. Pretty good. Nowhere near the uh, high score, but, you know, still pretty good. Oh, hello there. <laughs> those are huge boxes. I think those are the biggest boxes in the game. Oop, I, spent, I stand corrected. The hummus also shares the biggest box in the game. This girl's getting a lot of hummus. Lady, are you okay? That's a lot of garlic. I'm be farting like crazy. Probably why she's walking the way she's walking, right? Because she needs to fart. <laughs> why is she walking like that? <laughs> Lady? Oh! Oh! I figured it out. Ugh. Gross. Ugh. I've been here for over five hours, not even bored. That's awesome. Okay. But the games will get better. I know that these are probably some of those boring games that a streamer could be playing. It's me. It's all me. I make them funny. I make them funny. I just got a mouthful of fart, though. I, I literally just got a mouthful of fart. It actually kind of smelled like this right here. The, um, the, the Meptite Vovo. I don't even know what that... What is this? Is this French? Is it French? Hot sauce? Ho thought sauce. I haven't even read the labels of these things. Peanut sauce down the bottom there. We all know what that is. We all know what peanut sauce is. This lady's getting some... Oh, it's too expensive. Is it actually? Damn straight it's not. Okay, 7.5. Done. So all of the broke girls can afford it now. We're completely out of sushi. We still haven't restocked it. Probably not going to for a while. We probably should, actually. It's a it's a pretty good source of income. Let's just get, like... Which one was it? Was it small sushi? Was it big sushi? We kind of need both, actually. But big sushi is the main one on my mind right now. We need four big sushis. 600 bucks. Done. Right down the hole. Mustard gas. Is that actually what it says? Oh, right, the mustard gas. The fart. Yeah, it was... It was kind of a breach of the Geneva Convention, wasn't it? Oh, look, here she is again. She's circled the block. And she's still walking that... Actually, no, she had a blue skirt, didn't she? <laughs> oh, yeah, she smells significantly better than that last one, too. <laughs> we got to keep an eye out for that... For that stinky bum bandit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll press charges if she deploys the mustard gas once more. Good. So, we still have a lot of articles back here. We still have bougie flour. We're running out... How are we already out of this here beer? Is this actually selling off the shelves as fast as I think it is? Maybe it is. That is a huge bucket of powdered sugar, by the way. Right, a couple of steaks right there. 104 bucks. Nice. What are you spending? I'm like micromanaging everybody's finances by insisting that they spend over 100 bucks. Otherwise, I'll just like, uh, I'll, I'll fart next to them. I'll do what that, what that woman did. I'll fart right next to them. I'll look them dead in the eyes, and then I'll fart as kind of not only a microaggression, but also kind of like to establish dominance, as in like, I own the store. I can fart here if I want. All right, that guy was good. All right, wonderful. Okay, I feel like maybe we've hit the limitations of the game and, and its current state. So I am going to uh, shoot off. I have to go pick and set up from work, so this is really, really good timing. Thank you, everybody, so much for sticking with me. So... Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Supermarket Simulator, and it's probably going to be just finished until we get back to it. And right up here, 
can find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord where you can come and talk to me and my community whenever you damn well please. And of course, until I make the next video or you catch the next stream, I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye!